and welcome to everybody to this week's uh, game of Star Frontiers Alpha Dawn, um, the uh, Omega Dawn, uh, Alpha Hawks I should say, sorry, the Omega Dawn campaign. Um, late in, uh, in last week's episode, uh, the crew of the intrepid uh, USS, uh, VSS Centipede uh, had discovered how to operate their alien tank. Uh, had been attacked by uh, four more um, uh, robots identified as Sapphire model robots and had tracked the, uh, a signal back to somewhere to the uh, east. Uh, as we left our intrepid group last week, they had just been fired upon by two heavy laser bo uh, bolts. Um, so there are approximately where they estimate about two kilometres away from uh, the area where their uh, signal is operating from that would make that would be at the extreme range of a laser of a heavy laser bolt uh, a standard heavy laser range is extreme two kilometres so uh, yes uh, the interesting thing is of course is the uh, the tank being a hover tank is currently uh, in effect over water or very close to over water um, some people have uh, expressed concerns about going for a swim uh, we'll see if that's necessary so that's where we leave things at the moment um, so uh, I suppose I need to ask what everybody's doing weren't we all in the tank heading towards the, the thing that shot us no you're in the tank if you pull up the uh, if you pull up your Rift Valley map, yeah. uh, if you haven't already, um, the uh, the red series of arrows was the projected course that you were going to take. Uh, the uh, purple circle is the location where you think um, this um, signal is coming from, and the purple arrow is where you are right now, having been shot at. But yes, Volk. everybody's in the tank. <gasps> Pardon me. Yeah, um, Volk is going to run to the missile room. And I'm going to uh, start evasive actions and go full speed. Okay, are you still following the same course? Uh, yes, and I'll, I'll say, somebody find where those shots are coming from, you guys in the turrets. Cat Sorry, Babs. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, guys. Anyway. You have to speak up a bit, Babs. Um, so, you're, so Babu's, Babu's uh, scanning in his turret. Bim, what were you doing? I'm just basically keeping my eyes open and listening to what's going on. If I if I see something I can shoot at, I probably will, but um, just, just hanging out for now. Right. Um, oh, uh, Jazz doesn't know what's going on. He wasn't here last week. At uh, this point, I think we should use the missile. I, I heard the. Uh, I listened up on the YouTube. So oh, I did you? Have a, yeah, I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Yeah. Well, you're oh, currently Jazz, uh, Jazz is currently in the commander's the commander's uh, uh, commander's seat at the moment. Oh. Okay. I thought I was some uh, rockets. I thought you moved to the commander's seat. No, we swapped just before we went. Yeah, we put Jazz in the commander seat since oh, okay. he is the highest initiative. <laughs> that makes tactical sense. Yeah, that's why they did it. Where's the, there's the war tank map. Um, Cat would like to remind everybody that the last artifact that we approached, we could approach on foot and it didn't shoot us. Uh, so maybe this course of action of going over the water is not the best idea because we cannot walk on water. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. Um, so, uh, Babu, uh, you're, you're looking around, um, in the general direction of, uh, where the shots came from. Can you give me a, um, a, a spot check, please? I'll make some adjustments at my end for, uh, uh for various search. factors. Yeah, basically search. Okay. No, you, uh, not successful in locating anything that looks like a laser shooting at you. 
Uh, was anyone else doing a scan? Bim Bam was too, weren't you, Bim? You can give me a roll too if you like, mate. Okay. Um. Yes, got that. Uh, Max is uh, resting peacefully, having been um, shot up uh, with drugs by the doctor. Um, yeah. Doug, you, uh, sorry, uh, Bim Bam, you, you, again, you are also not successful in locating um, anything that looks like a, um, um, a man-made structure to be firing at you or anything else like that. Um, and I suspect that um, Jazz will be scanning as well. Is that right, Jazz? You are, and Cat, you are all, Cat, you're not successful. And Jazz, you are not successful. Not successful with the three. That's a critical, though. You are not successful in spotting anything. There's nothing to spot. We're in trouble now. Well. So. Uh. Kill that. Let me kill that for the time being, and that one. Okay, two more, uh, two more laser, um, heavy laser bolts. Um, come from the from the same general direction, um, but both manage to uh, not hit the tank, uh, primarily thanks to the evasive manoeuvring uh, being carried out by Cerise. All right, uh, Voke is in the missile control room by now, probably. Uh, yeah, pretty close. Yes. Can he figure out what the dial does? Uh, you can you can give me a, uh, a a tech roll for it, yeah. You can give me a a logic roll or an intuition roll, your choice. Didn't you already figure out well. that uh, the dial's for range? We thought it was for range, but it doesn't make that much sense to be for range because it's like. It well, it could be for range of the we you, you said it was an EMP missile, so maybe it's range of the EMP, not range of the uh, missile itself. No. Yeah, the missile we already determined its range of about four thousand meters. Maximum range. Yeah. So the dial could be for like the blast radius. I don't know, Vogue couldn't figure it out, so... Ja Jazz says, uh... <laughs> Jazz says, when it comes to weapons, if you're ever in doubt, just crank it up to max. <clears throat> crank it up to max? Well, uh... I'll no, take Jazz... in the middle. We, we could take out ourselves. Right? This is an EMP. I don't know if this shit's hardened against EMP. We'll, we'll thing, compromise. Jazz, is there any way that the lasers could be hidden behind a holo screen? Do they make installation size holo screens? Uh, uh, yeah, they do. They're pretty yeah, they power. Do. They're pretty. They pretty. They, I mean, they they draw a hell of a lot of power. You know, you need it. You, you you wouldn't run it from a you wouldn't run it from a from a, a backpack or a belt pack. <laughs> right, but we're talking about an installation, so that's my guess. I vote we fire the missile and we head towards the installation. So, well... Um, I have a question. On that map, on the Rift Valley map, from our mm. location to that circular area, like how... What's the distance? What's the scale two there? Clicks. There, right. there's a scale, there's a scale along the bottom of the map. Uh, one square equals one kilometer, but there's no... S oh, oh, wait, the <laughs> black and white squares. Yeah, yeah, so that one's a little bit over, of, yeah. Uh, That's actually quite far. Yeah, it is. Um, what's that about? Uh, 
yeah, what's that? One, two, three, four, about six. Four, five, six kilometers, yeah. Yeah, that's seven kilometers right there. So to the center, it's six, seven. So hey. we're not close enough to fire. My guess is that you need two things to fire a weapon. You need to know, you need the bearing, and you need the distance. So probably that's what the two dials are. Um, I thought there was only one dial in the compartment. The rest of the missile would be fired from probably the engineering console or, or the commander's console. Oh, no, there's a I don't know dial. If you there's a dial and a uh, a number pad. I don't know. Maybe the number pad is GPS coordinates or something. Yeah, so yeah, that's that how be... close we have to get to fight. That would be that would assume that there's a GPS satellite in, in orbit and there's not. We're sure there's no satellites in orbit. Well, you haven't spotted any on the way in. It, it could be range and bearing. The dial could be yield or it could be range of the missile, but I would think that range of the missile would be more than one, two, three, four, five. Plus, we said the range was four thousand meters. So four clicks one would is a pretty be a sucky range. Yep. Yeah, we moved 30 kilometers an hour, so it, it'd be a while. We take a, we take some more shots. Definitely. Well, I think figure out how to fire the missile, and when we're at four clicks, fire it. Yeah. Uh, well, we're it'll be like 10, 15. It'll be like 10 minutes or so, I think. Not at 30 kilometers an hour, we're, every two minutes we go a kilometer. Okay, so it'll be... Six 10 minutes. minutes is 5 kilometers. So it'll be like 6 we're minutes. At 6 or 7, we've got to go... It'll be a, it'll be a couple kilometers. of minutes. It'll be a couple of minutes, guys. Anyway. Yeah, so Convoke run back to his console and... Uh, I There were internal repair uh, systems, right? Uh, the engineering console will help with that, yeah. Yeah, because since the pierce the the laser. Oh no 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 no. There's, there's, sorry, no. There's, that's what you're thinking. No, there are no auto repair. But um, there's like tools and uh, such, right? There's tools and stuff. Is there anything inside the tank that I can fix? Considering we just got hit, and it went in the. Not at this stage. No. Then he'll stay on the mid. Okay. So, uh, still following that same course, Cerise? Yeah, until we know how to fire the missile. Okay. I'm hoping to get out of range of the weapons, or, you know, behind cover. Yeah. Well, uh, there's plenty of, um, uh, there's, there's, there's plenty of shots uh, coming in on you guys, um, but they're pretty wild and scattered. Um, so that first one, or two that hit may have been just a lucky, uh, may have been a lucky shot because you're on the same, same course for such a long time, uh, and they tracked you in. You know what I mean? Um, yep. But now that you're now that you're evasively manoeuvring, um, they're not having any luck at all. So, uh, but they're trying. Well, I mean, <laughs> short of uh, of an actual target. Um, Jazz will just kind of keep our target lock on kind of like the center of that circle area. Yeah, well, that's only an approximate circle area. Uh, the uh, approximate circle area? Yeah. But hopefully once we get closer, if we can identify actual target, then, then Jazz will try to lock onto that. All right. Well, again, um, you guys are pretty sure you know where the laser shots are coming from. Um, but there's nothing there. The, the laser shots seem to be coming out of nowhere. Um, no, we'll just but lock onto but it's, a, it's the same location, like nowhere. <laughs> yeah, Does that make coming out. How big are they? They're heavy laser bolts. They'll be from a heavy laser. Roughly what size? Like um, oh, look, the heavy lasers. Um, the heavy lasers, the, 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 the two man portable version the one that sits that you have to fire from a tripod or a 
or a um, or a fixed mount. There, we have to get within that radius to find. Yes, I wouldn't be that accurate if I were you, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, you make you, you make your way across the uh, across the uh, the mouth of that uh, river or creek, whatever it is, river there, at the end of the lake, uh, and start heading in that south easterly direction towards um, towards your uh, your eventual target. Again, nothing that you can see and the, 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 the shots are coming out of nowhere can I get you got same four guys to give me another search roll please have we figured out how to fire the missile um well I'm waiting is that what you're doing Jazz or what you mean both no well, I mean Jazz both of you. or both of you yeah uh I yeah. mean I'm pretty sure we already learned how to fire the missile or like someone did and shared with the rest of us. I mean, I can do another logic roll if you want me to. to uh, I'm waiting on some. Oh, it's you, Bim Bam. I'm waiting on you for a for a, a search roll, please, Bim. Oh, I thought I already did one. Sorry. Yes, I want a second one, thanks. Yeah, I didn't. It didn't come through, mate. Oh, I put it in the. I see it in the chat log. I don't. I wonder if you. Oh, it's very strange. That. I had just, oh, uh, just the last arrived. one. I'm sorry. Uh. I mistook Babu for Bim Bam. Um. Uh, hold on, a sir. <laughs> now, if I was I'm nasty, I could say something to you, but I won't. And you certainly don't look like a Dralocyte. Now, now, not why, not why we're fighting something, please. <laughs> Trying to find the search skill. Uh, it's not. It's it's a it's a um, average of your. What is it? Yeah, intelligence. Logic and, uh, and intuition. Yeah. So you can roll a D hundred and then Um, so how do I put in the modifier? Um Do it as die uh, slash die D one hundred minus uh no. Uh, what was it? Oh, God, it's been that long since I've done it now. You can put a yeah, modifier in the modifier, so you can do like negative oh, I whatever. Got it. Thank you. Mm. Um. Or you could do like this one. Do write it in the chat when you drop it on your taskbar. There we go. There we oh, go. Well. That's all right. Let's get the roll. Um, Babs, there's some sort of um, for a split second you think actually it's, it's, it's gone past think you're pretty sure um, that you spotted some sort of what you would um, in, uh, initially call a heat shimmer um, if you've ever been in the desert or looked down a, a hot road yeah. yeah yeah you know you get the heat shimmer or an um, illusion flicker or an illusion flicker um, yeah um well I'm gonna light up wherever that was just to see what happens. Light up is in fire. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, what if there's women and children? <laughs> they shouldn't be shimmering like that. <laughs> I just got this image of a whole bunch of women and children doing uh, doing a dancing, doing a shimmer. 
I see. <laughs> so, so your response was, you know what, they don't matter. Yeah, that's what he said. So where are you? We, uh, now, which, uh, which, ta which turret uh, are you in? Top turret in the front. Which I one? Think, uh, which? The uh, gamma, the gamma gun. gun. Gamma gun. That was it. The gamma gun. Uh, to check. To uh, okay, that's that's. Uh, give me a um. Where are we? Lost it. I've lost it. I've lost it. I hate when I lose things. Um. Okay, uh, you, you roll me percent, roll me percent, I'll dice, mate. Wave motion gun. Okay, the uh, the front forward turret fires under the control of Babu. Um, and he uh, doesn't appear to hit anything. At all. Fire gun. Ah, uh, yeah, loud. I've seen something shimmering in that direction. Energy's free. No, well, technically it's not. We have plenty of energy. Just shoot. Besides, the gamma ray has the killer range. Yeah. It's a range of 5,000 meters. A bit about that. So, uh, still on, still on approach, Cerise. Yep. Okay. Is anybody gonna fire that missile? Well, I don't know, I don't know how close we are yet. We gotta be in the circle. Uh, you're about four, four, five clicks out. Uh, well, I'm not gonna fire just yet then. All right. So, uh, what are you setting the dial to? I'm being told to crank it to mass, so I'm being told to put it in the middle. So, I'm going to do a compromise and I'm crank it to four. <laughs> uh, the fourth position, right, okay. Yeah, because there's five positions and... Yeah. Alright, and... Uh, type in the... Uh, Type in the uh, the bearing on the uh, on the keypad. Yep. And is there Hit anywhere the I can input rain? Nope. Uh. Well. Have the increments of eight hundred. And so, what's our current range? Uh, you're currently at uh, four and a half kilometers from where you think it is and closing fast. Four and a half kilometers. Oh boy. Fire at four kilometers. Yeah, I'll wait till we get to four kilometers. Okay. Uh, so you quickly. You quickly up come up to four kilometers, and I'm sure certain there's no other way to input range, right? There's a dial on the keypad. And the keypad's the bearing. Well, that's fantastic. As far as you're aware. I'll wait till we get to three uh, thirty six hundred meters, and then I'll fire. With a setting of four. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, meanwhile. Oh, where is it? Well, there it is. Okay. So uh, you get to about uh, thirty-seven hundred hundred, uh, thirty-seven hundred um, meters. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, when a uh, a large um, projectile, probably from a recallless rifle, um, barely misses the tank uh, on your way in. In fact, Babu, you actually swear you saw the whole thing come through to the point where you actually ducked uh, involuntarily because that's how close the shell went. Okay, yeah, Volk is pressing the big red button now. <laughs> uh, there's a shutter from the tank as a missile launches uh, from the uh, from the back. Um, bim bam, you're in the rear turret, aren't you? Yes. Um, your vision is temporarily um, obscured by the flash and flare of the of the rocket engine of the missile engine um, only for a split second um, and uh, both Babu and Bim Bam um, quickly see the missile climbing up out of range arcing overhead and coming um, straight back down basically in front of the uh, uh, front of the uh, the tank um, everybody else sort of kind of sees this on the on the on the display screens, but Babu and Bim Bam have got a, 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 a literally a, a, a Mark One front eye view, a front row seat. Um, Certainly now, feel it. Hey? Feel. Feel it. Yes. Where is that? There it is. Okay, um, there is a a blinding flash um, just before the tank the tank just before the missile hits the uh, hits the ground uh, and uh, the power sources inside the tank uh, and the engines and everything flicker momentarily um, before coming back back to uh, to full strength. Is there any escape hatch from this turret? Only the... <laughs> only the one you came in? Yeah, only the one you went in. I don't want to drown in this thing. Um, it's a tank, it'll float! <laughs> <laughs> it's a tank, it'll float. Right. Um, the tank does dip towards the uh, the water somewhat during its, its momentary power failure, but Therese manages... Uh, to recover, if she can make a driving roll. Yeah, no problem. Alien technology, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh, yeah d d Cerise manages to recover, um, although everybody everybody goes, <gasps> yeah, as the uh, as you dip. Um, and can I get um, spot checks off Babu and Bim Bam? Um, search spot checks, please. Uh, and also uh, off jazz, and uh, that's it, because uh, they're the only ones looking. Getting paid oh, and from the dice guards from and last cat. time.
There's some okay. good rolls. Pair of sevens. It, yeah, pair of sevens. Pair of snake eyes. No. Um, there. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, at that roundabout where you where you estimated, um, there is a bit of a a, a bluff at that point, um, and um, sticking up uh, in front or out of the the, the front of the bluff um, is um, a couple of uh, structures. Whether it's the one structure, whether it's a couple of um, items on the one structure or, or separate structures, um, is is hard to tell. Um, but they definitely weren't there a minute ago. Um, and coming out of the top of these domed three domed structures, um, you can make out. Uh, first of all, you can make out what appears to be. Um, a uh, heavy laser on two of them. Um, there's also uh, a, another another um, uh, weapon of some sort, which will probably take a, a military expert to identify at this range. But as you're watching um, out of that uh, 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 on that central central, let's call it a turret for uh, for argument's sake, out of that central turret where the unusual weapon is that you haven't identified yet um, there is rising what appears to be a very large recordless rifle barrel um, rising up and uh, settling taking aim uh, in your general direction jazz do you want to give me a quick ID on on things uh, yep. a quick Wait, uh, no, uh, intelligence roll? roll quick intelligence roll logic roll sorry I'd like to follow Cherise's orders. <laughs> Which were? Most shit up. Oh, right. Um, that jazz, you, that looks like a Sonic Devastator to you. A very heavy Sonic Devastator. The recoilless rifle. The one that's no, the, the barrel that's... Oh, the, the unusual weapon. Yeah, the unusual one. The one that's sitting below the recoilless rifle. Um, so I'm going to need... Um, I'm going to need initiative rolls of everybody, please. Five for Babu, eh? Yep. It's a little bit steady. Keep it thing. And eight for Voke. And seven for Cerise. Gotta get this fixed. Go for Jazz. Six for Cat. Twelve for Bim. And 13 for Pedro. So, uh, Pedro and Bim Bim, are you doing anything uh, combat related in terms of this this tank? Uh, the reason I ask is because Doc, you're you're looking after somebody inside this inside the tank at the moment, aren't you? No, well, we're just standing ready in case anyone gets injured. Right. Okay. Uh, you're gonna. You, are you gonna be firing your turret, your 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 gun, Bim Bam? Yes, I'm gonna aim for that uh, coilless rifle barrel. Okay. Well, Jack, you've got first action because you're the commander. Um. So our targets. Oh, well, first thing, Jack's gonna yell. Um. Don't worry about the sonic devastator for now. They're typically shorter ranged. Um. And so right now we see the coilless rifle. The Sonic Devastator. Was there something else that we saw? Two laser. Ba there's two laser turrets as well. The recoilless okay. rifle and the Sonic Devastator are on, are on the same turret. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say target the lasers for now. Lasers generally longer range. And we're, how far away are we, at, are we right now? Like four, just uh, just about three, four. Three point six. 3.7 kilometers, just under 3.7 kilometers, because that's when you fired the missile, and you have moved right. forward a little bit, a little bit since the missile was fired and launched. All right. So, so, 
Um, Jazz will designate one of the laser turrets um, with the computer systems. And left or right? Fire on that. Um, left. Let's go with left. Left one. Okay, the one that's closest to you. Yep. So, right. is there a role to target? Uh, no, just, just the, 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 the declaration that you're doing it is fine. Alright. And that's it for Jazz. Okay. So, Bim Bam, you're up. Okay, I'm just going to aim at the rifle and pull the trigger. Okay. Uh, you're at 3.6 kilometers. Uh, range. You're on the rocket launcher, aren't you? No, oh, heavy laser. No, you're in the heavy laser. I don't know what the range is. Um, Let me see. I got the note. 20% Our notes say two clicks. Yeah, two clicks. Oh. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. Guess the only um, thing with the range sorry. right now is the gamma ray. The gamma gun? Yeah. Um, can I do a quick uh, error? Um, we'll call this rifle actually longer range than laser, so Jazz would have said target the, the rifle. So... Designating a target improves your accuracy, right? Uh, it does. So I guess I'll designate the recoilless rifle as my target on this turn, since I can't hit it yet anyways. Yeah, okay. Alright. Vok, what are you doing? Um, well... I'm gonna run back to my engineering seat. Okay, good. Cerise? Dodging and heading drive test a drive it, test please. Speed. Yeah, a driving test please. Right, okay. That gives me a base on which to hit you with. Cat. Well, we can't hit anything with the rockets from here, so uh, we're probably stuffed this turn. Let's hope we get a little bit closer. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and Babu. Now, do I have the range to make that? Your gamma gun is apparently yeah, up, up to five kilometers. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, against the recoilless rifle. Okay. That ain't gonna hit. <laughs> Sorry, too high. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, and... Why don't you have skills in Gamma Gun? Because we ain't never seen a Gamma Gun before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two, la two heavy laser bolts flash out uh, at you, but uh, go, wi go wide. Not much chance of hitting. The recoilless rifle shell, again, just misses. Um, and so, give me a sec. So, Uh, yes, the, the recoilless rifle shell uh, misses, and um, as you watch, the recoilless rifle um, lowers back down into the turret. Uh, initiatives, please, gentlemen. And you said I couldn't get lower. No, I didn't say you could get lower. Ain't getting lower than that, though. So Don't worry, our best roll was a six. Eight for cat, 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 cat. Got an eight. Um. Got a ten. That's better, Cerise. 
I've got a nine. I don't know if it really matters for me. I'm just dodging. Oh, uh, yeah, but if I get to shoot before you to get to dodge. Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did ya? Well, I assumed it was a full until your next turn thing. Nah, unfortunately not. Yeah, we at when Jazz goes, essentially, so. Okay, the guys that are waiting to get within range, though, are they able to be aiming towards the target to help increase that? Yeah, the trouble is the, the tank is being jinxed, remember, because uh -huh, of the, yeah. the evasive maneuverings. Because I'm keeping us alive. So, yes. So... Uh, here's what happens over the next uh, a minute, of, a minute or two. Um, give me a quick roll. Give me quick three quick rolls, please, Babs, and three quick rolls, please, um, from you too, Cerise. Bruh, die one hundred. Just yeah, just die one hundred. I'm assuming you want to operate. Yes, mate. Okay, um, so here's what happens over the next minute, minute or so. Um, the, uh, the 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 laser, the heavy lasers from the from the the turrets, the bunker, whatever, uh, from the, the um, uh, continue to fire at you uh, and continue to miss, uh, primarily because of both range and um, and and the uh, the jinxing that Cerise is doing. Um, the real danger is coming from the recoilless rifle, uh, which after um, um, uh, a round or two rises back up um, uh, um, above the sonic devastators and loosens another shot at you guys, uh, which again, primarily because of Cerise's uh, driving skill, um, uh, manages to miss, to miss you. Uh, so the recoilless rifle again reload, uh, um, lowers itself or is lowered back down into its turret uh, and after a round or two comes back up and takes another pot shot at you. Um, you guys uh, during this time um, have not hit anything uh, in uh, Babu's return shots um, and uh, the range um, is now down to about a kilometre and a half, about 1,500 metres. Do we have all um, four turrets manned? You do, two internally and two externally. Right. Because it, it's uh, the dock that's, is the, wait, actually no, never mind. Wait. So, um, go on. Yeah, the dock is managing one of the rocket turrets, right? No. Then we only have three manned, right? Because we have a commander driver. Wait, where am I? Yeah, Max my... is like shaking on the on the ground because he Wait, was. Wait, no, we have all four rocket. manned. Max is sleeping. Wait, technically. Yeah, so we only have under three medical manned. supervision, of course. Under medical supervision. I think sure. Volk has to man one of the rockets. Yeah, I think I have to man one of the turrets. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Volk will go man whichever rocket turret isn't being manned. By cat, right. Okay, so, can I get initiatives off everybody, please? Thank you. Uh, my what range are we at worse. now? Uh, 1,500 meters. Jazz, it just keeps getting worse. Yes, it is. Cats on ten. Jazz, you're on eight. Well done, Jazz. <laughs> Doc's on fifteen. Still, still supervising, Doc. Indeed. That's okay. When you get We're there, need... Matt, my plan is to um, get to about eight hundred meters and then run parallel okay in a, in a loop to the southeast uh, southwest are you yeah 
Yeah, okay. That'll put all four of our weapons in range. It will indeed. Yeah, we should either get close enough so that the cannon can't depress far enough to hit us, or speed by so it's our transverse velocity is faster than how fast the turret can track. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't know. A lot of turrets can't track that fast. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to the Sonic Devastator. Yeah, that's but we'll another. Need all our weapons in range. Yeah. Okay. Sonic Devastator right. will fire before you get too close. So everyone has to wait till uh, till either Jazz or Cerise goes, and considering Jazz goes to Cerise, Jazz, what are you doing, Commander? Um, Jazz will continue designating the recordless rifle slash Sonic Devastator. Right. Okay. So, uh, Doc, you're supervising. Bim bam. Uh, we're at one and a half kilometers. That's enough for your heavy laser. I'm going to shoot the recoilless rifle. Okay, you have a 30% chance to hit then. A 30% chance? Yep. I thought we're designating made it easier. Yeah, it is. That is, that is making it easier. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like better from what, 10%? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, oh just, just And you just missed, unfortunately. Damn. Vogue? If it had been a one third percent chance I would have gotten. Uh I'm not within range so No, you're still out of range by just mm, a few hundred okay. meters, yeah. Mm. Cap. You uh, out of range still, I believe. Yeah, she's in range. Thirty percent. I thought you had a rocket launcher. Yes. We have to be a thousand away to Oh really? Yeah. You're at fifteen. You can fire if you want. Nah. Nah. You fire and okay. hope for a lucky hit. <laughs> Jazz. Roller. Uh, had a go. Baboo. Hope that a strong breeze catches the rocket and carries it an extra <laughs> 500 meters. Yeah, it carries it half of its this uh, firing distance. Yeah. No, look. Yeah. Uh, Jazz. No, that's a, that's a miss, Baboo. Yep. You got to get closer. You still you still at pretty long range, you guys. Okay, Cerise, give me uh, that uh, that dodge roll, please, mate. Ooh, that ain't good. I got bored and just started doing an ass, a predictable ass. Yeah. Um. Where's our chips? So we roll this, huh? No, no chips. Different game. Mr. Mr. Lose an arm. Yeah. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, only one of the laser bolts misses. Um, uh, the uh, the tank um, gets hit by one of the laser bolts and also by the recoilless rocket. Um, the laser. Um, the, one of the laser bolts hits uh, hits the uh, left hand um, rocket turret. Um, the turret still is operational, um, but obviously the armor has taken uh, taken a beating in that location, and the recoilless rifle. Uh, it just strikes the general armor of the uh, of the tank and doesn't doesn't uh, penetrate uh, the uh, the the outer skin, which is a good thing. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we're up for um, initiatives, please, guys. And the range. Uh, Where's my calculator? Oops, first roll, sorry.
Okay, the range is uh, the range is around about fourteen hundred meters when dropping quickly. Eight for Vogue, ten for Pedro, fifteen for Jazz. That's what I like to see, Jazz. Cat got a thirteen. Uh, bim bam bim bam and he got a seven. What a shame. And for fourteen for Cerise. So Jazz. Yep, Jazz what? will the oh, oh. designate the close rifle as a target. I don't think the uh, it expires. Sorry? The targeting doesn't expire, so you don't have to target every turn, right? Yeah, he's got a target every turn. Cerise? Alright. Okay. Cat, you're still out of range. Yep. Okay. Doc, you just monitoring? Indeed. Voke, you're out of range. Yep. Babu. Alright, just for my information, what are my yeah. shooting? What are you I shooting? I mean, is it considered the uh, laser cannon? No. It's oh, for skill wise. Uh, it's computer controlled. The r you've got a base 50% chance to hit at point blank range for any of the uh, any of the weapons on the tank. Um, so and there's then rain. a skill that's going to increase that if I was to learn it? Not in this case, no. So we're no. close okay. enough now Normally, to point blank. Hang on, hang on a sec. Normally, uh, there are vehicle weapon skills, but that would that would apply to um, no frontier weapon. weapons. Frontier weapons, not not alien weapons. In right. That okay. But this is this basically the computer. The computer. It's a base thirty percent chance to hit with any weapon, and the computer gives you plus a plus twenty, and then the designation gives you plus ten on top of that. Then we take off. Pardon me. Then we take off range modifiers. Okay, that's cool. And you are still at long range. I'm going to the maybe I'll get lucky. Hey. What was that? I just said I'm going as fast as I can go. I know. Did he hit? Oh, so, I Babu. Babs? Oh, that's 33. 33. No, that's not enough to hit. No, sorry. Does he need, like, under 30? Mm-hmm. Oh. Bim bam. I'm going to try to shoot the... Recoil this rifle again. Mm hmm. You're at, um. Right, okay. Oh, guess not. Nope. Sorry. Not with a 95. No. Okay. So, uh, let's see, the two heavy lasers, because the recoilless rifle is currently down. Ooh, both heavy lasers. Uh, yeah, both heavy lasers. Ooh, hang on. What did you roll for your dodge? Uh, Cerise? Minus no, one heavy laser. Yeah, one hits, one misses. Uh, where did we hit? We hit on the 55. Uh, this heavy laser hits the other rocket launcher turret. Again, uh, doesn't seem to have affected it too badly, uh, but uh, has done some uh, some, super some superficial damage to the armour. Uh, and as you watch, the recoilless rifle uh, raises itself back up into position, ready to to fire again this round. Can I get an issues please, people? The range is down to 1300 metres. Uh, 
Jazz got a nine. Jazz, 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 jazz. I really got to fix this part of the coding up. Dodging? Oh yeah. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Uh, jazz. Does it needing the requirements? My fault. Mm-hmm. Volk. Thirteen hundred meters. Just uh, doing that. Well, you did open up at long range. Well, they did anyway. Cat, the same. Yep. Pedro the same. Yep. Babu, thirteen hundred meters. You are at yep. still at long range. Uh, I ain't costing us nothing, right? Uh, no. Uh, Cost us a little mm -hmm. bit of energy. Yeah, but you got it's a nuclear reactor, reactor, so we're good. Yeah, that ain't gonna hit, mate. Sorry. Nope. Nope. Bim Bam, you are at medium range. Yeah, so, so you've got a forty percent chance of hitting at this stage if you're aiming for the resource rifle. Is it Bim Bam on the laser? Yes. Yep. Huh. Oh, hell. Don't mind me. No, sorry. Yeah, uh, wrong one. Good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right, because shouldn't that yeah. boo have like shorter range, uh, medium uh, range? Yeah, yeah, no, first? Mike, it, it, don't, the table here is all screwed. The the range table I'm looking at is all screwed up. And I keep forgetting. Uh -huh. So I got a 22. Is that a hit? No, it's not. Sorry, mate. You know, the, the longer range than that. Um, oh wait, I had thought we had to roll under the. You do, yeah. and you're still out. You're, you're still out. So it's you still roll too high. Yeah, but 30 wasn't I, the right target number. But I rolled 22, that's less than 40. Yeah, but 40 wasn't the right target number. Oh, it wasn't? No, I made a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Cool. That's what we were saying. I my, my targeting table's all stuffed up here. I've got to remember to change it over. There's a misprint in the module <laughs> that we're using, that I'm using. Anywho. Uh, check, 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 right, laser, uh, that's a miss, laser, that's a hit, uh, that's just an armor hit, chew some more structural points off the tank, but nothing else happens. Recoilless rifle. And the recoilless rifle shell misses. Just in so case anybody's go on. Just in case anybody's curious, my supposition that this was an unmanned Sathar artifact is wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's, it yeah, could well, be automated. It doesn't, it doesn't. Well, it could be automated, but it certainly doesn't look anything like the uh, the the pyramid, the the the, the uh, silvery pyramid artifact on Volturnus. It looks nothing like that. Um, yes. So, initiative, please. And the range is down to twelve hundred meters. Babu got a seven. Babu, Babu, Babu got a seven. Cerise got a twelve. Jazz got a nine. 
Pedro got a 10. Vote got a 13. Bim Bam, have you rolled? I thought I did. Um, let me check. No. I guess I didn't. I'm sorry. That's okay. Off the character sheet, it's a double click. Off the hot bar, it's a single click. That's okay. It's all good. Okay, uh, Cerise, because you're driving. Now, because you're driving and uh, evading, I'm assuming you're scanning uh, scanning the terrain as well, um, although, uh, as such, you are coming down the edge of the lake, aren't you? Yeah, so I am looking for if any, uh, any vehicles come to meet us or any targets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um... Well, um, between you and uh, Cat and Vogue, can I get the three of you to give me logic rolls, please? I'm going to take a combined average on those three as the three of you work together. Yeah, okay. Good job, gentlemen. Good job, gentlemen, yes. Or ladies. Um, gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Um, there seems... This, this, this complex does seem to be um, one, one complex, not, not separate. Um, the turrets seem to be connected uh, and they seem to go back into the bluff. Um, so it could be some sort of underground bunker and this is just a bit that's protruding forward. Um, but the bluff itself is is a bit of a ridge. It's only a it's only a couple of tens of meters thick. So um, it's conceivable um, that there is more of this complex on the other side of the bluff, on the back of the bluff, back of the ridge. Um, and as there does not appear to be any entrances to the bunker complex on this side. Picture, if you like, a high-tech pillbox from World War One or World War Two. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, again, this, this is starting to lead to a supposition that there may be more further back. Um, the only issue with that is, on the current angle you're coming in, you're going to have to skirt across the front of the turret area um, at whatever distance you choose, and then swing in around the south and southeast to get around the bluff because the bluff is coming down from the north and it's the to the south where you can get around it to get to the back of it. If that makes sense, does that make sense? Yeah. One question: um, the forest here is that too dense to drive the tank through, or could the tank go through it slowly? Well, the tank could go through it very slowly. Um, you'd effectively be uh, classed as a stationary target for the turret's targeting purposes, the bunker's targeting purposes, um, and also um, it's pretty steep ground. You wouldn't actually, you wouldn't actually be able to get that far into the forest. Um, you certainly couldn't go around. I mean, the bluff, the forest climbs the bluff. You know what I mean? Um, yep, yep. That. Where's the map? Uh, what did I do with the map? What did I do with the map? Here it is. That whole, where is it, sorry, that whole line there of, along that arrow line I just put in is basically more or less um, ridge line and, you know, the terminates at this bluff point here where, where you've got your, uh, where you think the signal's coming from. So you'd have to come um, down across the front like that and then around, yeah, I'm exaggerating, of course, on this map. Right. But you get, that's what you'd have to do if you wanted to drive drive around it. Um, but there's no, there's certainly no entrances or exits uh, that you can see that on, on this side. Um, the, the bunker is basically f more or less facing along that now, I'm sort of direction. 
Okay. Now the recoilist is it sitting like high where it has a 360 degree, and the lasers yeah. are down low? No, they're all pretty much at six. They all they've all got a pretty much a 360 degree fire. Um, maybe a 355 as they cross each other's um, uh, pivot points. Okay. So there's not more laser turrets on the other side. Well. Let me draw something. How here. high up off the ground are they? Um, they're uh, quite a fair way up. Um, I'd have to check the exact specs. I suggest um, we drive directly up to them because once we're next to them, their turrets won't be able to press down far enough to hit us. But the Sonic yeah. Devastator is going to devastate it. Literally. Uh, I forgot about that. Um, and the turrets do seem to have quite a bit of decl declination on them. If we were on foot, we could probably get underneath their firing arc, but not in the tent. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That mean you want to get out? Yeah, I was going to say, does that mean you want to get out? No? No, no. <laughs> no, no, I don't, no, I just thought I'd ask. Uh, range is down to 1,100 metres, and I need initiative rolls. Please, people. Very consistent. Oh, and then there's Cat. Except you, Cat. Yeah, Cat lets people down again. Because <laughs> you're sitting there watching the rockets. Uh, I think we ah, need it's time Bam to file Bam. my nails. I think we need Bam Bam again. To do what? Uh, uh, Initiative roll, please, mate. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Oh, no, you got a head cold. Not good when you got a head cold. Yeah. Bam's on ten. That's all. Yeah. Uh, Jazz. Designating the recoil this rifle turret. Is it's exposed right now, right? It's still uh, up. The the recoil this rifle. No, it's going down. When it's when it's. When it's down, is it still hittable, or is it nope. kind of pointless? No, just, no, no it, it, the, the recourse rifle, every second round, the recourse rifle actually retreats down into the, let's call it a concrete bunker, the concrete bunker, and right, then pops so back up and fires again, and then drops back down, and then pops right, back so up and fires again. So point is, when it's down, then it's just not a, it's a pointless to target that. Um, yeah, well, I was assuming you're, ta you're, you're, I'm assuming you're, I was assuming you were targeting the turret it's coming up with, it's coming out of. Yeah, it's on the same oh, turret as the, the turret. Sonic Devastator, so you take out that turret, you take out both of them. Yeah. Okay, so, we'll target the turret. Okay. Okay, Babu. Oh, really? Yeah, you got a 13. Am I able to shoot then? Uh, you are. Your range is medium, which means, depending on what you're targeting, what are you targeting? The uh, turret. Okay, which one? The recoilless rifle or the lasers? Uh, recoilless rifle was the designated In one, right? The designated one. In that case, uh, what did I say? 50, 70, uh, 20. You have a 40% chance of hitting because you've just dropped down to medium range. Uh, let me ask this: do, do the laser turrets look like they're? Or, or <laughs> oh, God. oh, that. Do the laser turrets look like what? Sorry. Uh, did the laser turrets look like they're easier to hit? Not necessarily. I assume they were all. I assume they were all seemed equally difficult. Pretty much. Okay. All right. So back to what we were saying. Uh oh, Babu. Uh <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, Babu. Uh, you're not sure what Babu's what Babu's done in his turret, but all of a sudden, um, his turret is sparking and smoking. Oh no! And you take a point of damage, Babs. Ow! Hey, Matt. Yeah, mate. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, it would be awesome to have a, a add-on for this rule set to like just do a count of how many critical failures we have each session. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, it it would be good. Um, yes. Thank you, Cherise. Pedro Doc, you're still looking after things? 
You don't want to. That doesn't sound like anyone's injured, so. Oh, Babu got got injured. One point, right? Did I hear a scream? (laughs) He's out in the turret. You have to get outside. (laughs) He got he got an ouchie. See, if he screams and dies, we won't. A yelp for help. I don't think so. And yes, you'd have to crawl out onto the tanks, and then uh, to get to him. Well, he's no coward, but there's no major injury, so no. Fair enough. Vote. 1,100 meters. Yeah, no, I'll take a shot just for, well, just for, I don't know. I'll just take a shot. 5% chance. Oh, almost had it. So close. (laughs) Oh dear. No, you missed. Unfortunately. Well, why is a seven a miss? Because he had a five percent chance. Five. Yeah, because I'm out of range. I see. Bim Bam, you are at uh, eleven hundred meters and you are at uh, still at long still at extreme range, so you've only got a uh Twenty percent chance of hitting at this stage if you're shooting at the recallist rifle turret. I thought its range was two thousand and we're at eleven hundred. Yeah, it's extreme range. That's extreme range still. Wow. Yeah. Maximum range is two kilometers. Oh, okay. So there you go. Oh, that's another failure. Mm-hmm. But it's energy, so you got nothing to worry about. I would about. just think that extreme range would be not at 50% of its range, but whatever. Yeah, it is. Okay. Cat? Not wasting a rocket. Wait You're not going to waste time. a rocket? Okay. All right. Who knows? That rocket could be a million credits to the right fire. Alien. It's alien. Okay, well, my only question is, are you in range of the Sonic Devastator? Uh, and the answer is no. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, in which case, uh, the recoilless rifle and the two heavy laser blasts all miss you. So I'll get uh, an issues, and you're down to a kilometre, a thousand metres. Jazz, any idea on what uh, long range versus extreme on the rockets is going to be? Uh, minus 40 versus minus 20? No, uh, kilometer versus like 800 distance. versus 500 meters. Would I know that? Rocket launcher? Uh, yeah, standard probably, rocket launcher. Probably 500. Extreme is 500 to 1,000. Uh, long yep, that's 200 that right. 500. Okay, so there's probably not any. We might as well stay at a kilometer, unless somebody else is gonna. Another weapon's gonna. Well, then the gamma gun drops down to short range under 800. Oh, okay. And the heavy lasers drop down to medium range under 500. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if if we if we head on to 500, um, if the Devastator is anything at all like our own technology, we'll still be pretty far out of range for the Devastator. But this yeah. one's very big. This one is very big. But like uh, Frontier World technology, we're looking at 100 meters for Sonic's Devastator. I don't know about Safar Tech. It's pretty comparable. Although this is a big version, this is a big, this is a big version of the, of of the Sonic Devastator. I, yeah, I would not get closer than 500 meters. I would say right below 800. 
Well, at 800 me at 800 meters, if you drop under 800 meters, like 795, for example, the gamma gun will be at short range. The rocket launchers will be at extreme range, and the heavy lasers will be at long range. And then under that, what's the next place that one of the weapons has a range increment? It's 500. Uh, 500 for the rockets and the heavy lasers. Yeah, 500 is, uh, is the rockets and the, and the heavy lasers. Um, and it's 300 point blank for the gamma gun. Okay. I don't know if we should go to 500 or not. We'll see. We've got some time until we get there. Yeah, five rounds. <laughs> Do okay. Uh, so, um, Jazz. Uh, designating the recoilless turret. Right. Doc, no one's hurt yet? Guess Cerise. not. Oh, nicely done, Cerise. Bim Bam, at just under a kilometre, you are at uh, extreme, just under a kilometre, aren't we? You are at long range with the heavy laser. Uh, assuming you're targeting the, assuming you're targeting the uh, designated target, that would give you a forty percent chance of hitting. Is that right? Let me think. Yeah, it sounds right. Damn it. Yes, cat. You have a twenty percent chance of hitting. Volk, you have a twenty percent chance of hitting. Definitely. Uh oh. Don't worry, I can fix the it. Target locks lock bonus in that number. I am. Okay, thanks. Uh okay. Um you don't know what you you don't know what you've done you don't know what you've done there, Volk. You've done something and the, your control panel starts sparking and you actually take um, 10 points of ele electrical burn damage. Ow. I heard an Babu. ouchie. Yeah, you heard an ouchie. Babu? Alright, so what do I need to do to make sure I can shoot? Uh, try and shoot. Oh, that sparking last time is alright? No problems? Well, it seems okay. I mean, you could push the firing button and the whole thing could blow up for all you know. This is true. And I'll aim at the uh, recoilless turret. Okay. And that's a miss. With the gamma? I thought I was at short range now. No. <laughs> no. You're at medium range still. It's a kilometer. You're at standard a kilometer. Medium range is between 800 and uh, 1200 meters. Yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. We haven't gone to 800 yet, but that's what we're targeting for. I thought we fired that missile. What happened with it? It took down the hollow screen. Oh, that's kind of a wimpy uh. missile, but still useful. Well, we don't know what other EMP systems it took out. Exactly. Uh, so uh, can recall the rifle is being charged. Hang on, sorry. Uh, uh, one of the laser bla one of the laser blasts hits the tank. Uh, uh, just an armor hit, uh, but the armor is getting starting to get chewed up a bit. Uh, you are down to. Let me think. You you've lost about fifteen percent of your armor so far. One five percent. One five. So, since the doc um, basically delayed this round, can he then patch up Volk? He can go over to Volk if he wants. Well, that's what we'll do. Okay, so you're going to patch him up next round, are you? Yes, please. Okay, initiatives, please, people.
Morning everyone, Babu World High Initiative, we're in trouble. Just don't blow up the tank before any of us can go, alright? <laughs> I try not to. At least I used that hundred and got it out of the way. That's all my looking at it. Thirteen for Bim and eleven for Cat. All right, Doc. Um, we'll you administer give a, a little first aid. Okay, so ten points back to to Voke, assuming you don't fail your <laughs> roll. Ooh, you've Ooh. almost stabbed me in the eye. Good thing you're a good doctor. Yeah. Okay. Combat and is making me a little bit uneasy. Funny that. Jazz. Uh, does it make the record this turret? Okay. Well, I thought I was next. Okay. No, nah, you just got to wait. Uh, okay. Okay. Yep. So at 900 meters, he's still closing, by the way. Uh, so range is having changed that much. No, that's a miss. Turn it. Babu. Shooting. That's a miss. Cat? Lol. Lol? Oh, I dragged it under the hot bar, but it dragged text under the hot bar instead of what I wanted it to. <laughs> I see. Yeah, that's a miss, Cat. Cerise. You know, you guys statistically should hit eventually if I don't run us into a tree. Uh, no, not a tree. You have run them into a rock, though. Uh, and the uh, the tank comes to a, uh, a, a not a shuddering halt, but there's a massive, a massive clanging uh, sound and uh, several um, several noises as the under skirt blades uh, providing lift to the hover tank strike the rock outcrop that you've just ran into uh, and you uh, you that's a critical failure oh. who's expecting and, uh, rocks in an ocean well you're on the <laughs> shoreline aren't you I know um, and uh, yeah so um, um, ouch uh, the tank takes some serious damage from that which is uh, to its workings, which is uh, annoying, really. Vote. Fire. Fire. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Laser. Miss. Laser. Miss. Recoilless rifle. Miss, aren't you lucky? Uh, 800 metres and an issues, please. Well, no, sorry, not 800 metres. You hit that rock. You're still outside the 800, you're still at 900 and, or 850, whatever. You're outside the 800 metre mark still. Go see if uh, Cerise's uh, fantastic driving skills. Pebu five jazz fourteen three sporting twelve cat seven vogue ten And 13 for Bim Bam. Uh. <laughs> didn't tell her to try going around it either, Jazz. No, true, true, Jazz. Didn't tell her to not. You didn't tell her not to hit it. 
No one actually say anything, Babu. Uh, did Jazz, you designating? Uh, yeah, designating the turret. Quest turret. Bim bam. I'll try my roll. Oh. oh, man. I always roll the lowest one first, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be a 10 something, and then the other one rolls. Uh, yeah. Okay, Doc, your patient uh, is okay first, yep. eh? Do you, I think do you knock off the, your uh, bio cord? Crashing whatever is. We're going to try to go over and offer some verbal moral support to Cerise. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> did you knock off your bio cord when you did that first, day? Eh? Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Vogue. Fire. Fire. They have it. No. Not again. Okay, you don't. You got to be careful because you keep sparking your panel. That's yeah. another eight points of damage. I get really dark. I need another. <laughs> Just as the dark walks away. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about jazz. Jazz is an asshole. I get close to hitting it and then I screw up my panel. <laughs> Get close to hitting it again, and then screw up my panel again. Yeah, if you get enough gauze on his pods, he might not be able to push that button. Therefore, he won't but be injured. He wouldn't be. So, cat, cat fires and misses. Babu. Fires and. Hits! Ooh. My god, it's a hit! Oh, wow. Hang on. Woo! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's my. I've got it. I've got it. Maybe be the first time that Babu's ever hit anything at range. Oops, wrong button. 400 D10. Uh, uh, do you want to roll a damage, please? Yeah, that was. Um, uh, that's uh, 20. 2d100. That works too. D100. D100. Sorry. Sorry, uh, 20d10. 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 <laughs> I mean, you could do 2d100. No, it's not. It's different. It's a different. D10. Yeah, it's a different, um, different bell curve. That's a lot. Look at those dice fly. Nice roll. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I see a lot of nines the, and a lot of tens. And the yeah, that was very, very nice. The um, let's make sure I got this right. Would you hit it with a rocket? No, that's no. He hit it with a gamma gun. gun. Oh, sweet. Just fried all the worms inside there. Okay, um, the albedo screen, which is currently protecting um, that turret, uh, is overloaded by the gamma gun and shorts out. You can actually you actually see the screen flicker and go out. Uh, for those of you who are who aren't who are watching, um, the uh, Yep, okay. Since we'd never hit it, we didn't know it had the screen on it. No, you didn't, exactly. Um, so, what is that exactly? Slash die? Or is it roll slash die? Uh, you use roll. You, actually, you can use slash roll or slash die. Oh, oh could be at the start with slash in fantasy grounds. Hey. Because I put the I put the um, I, I put the slash roll command in yesterday. Actually, should be working fine. So, what do you want to use? You want to use slash die or slash roll? It's up to you. Both will work. So it'd be slash, slash die twenty die ten. Yeah. Okay, should have it then. It'll make it easier. Yeah. Um. So um the so uh shot goes through the um, albedo screen. Um 
and also uh, strips practically all the armour, punches right through the armour of that turret, and um, there's a, a a small explosion as the recoilless rifle is destroyed completely by that shot. Does the the Devastator, the Sonic Devastator, looks like it's still operational though? It does look it like it's still operational. Okay. But the recoilless rifle's down. Nice, nice shot. Good shot. <laughs> yes, I'm sure if I like that laughing on you or not. Um, so, heavy laser, that's a hit. Heavy laser, that's a miss. Recoilless rifle, well, I can't do anything about that because it's not there anymore. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Uh, that's an armor hit, and your armor's uh, down to twenty. You've 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 gone through twenty percent of your armor. Plus, don't forget there's other damage because of hitting the rock. No, no, that's battle damage. Is yeah, that right. internal damage when we hit the rock? No, it's well, it's inter well, it's not internal it's damage, but it's not it's, it's not armor. No, it's not armor damage either. It's it's, it's damage to the workings. Um, I mean, is it the type of damage that an engineer would be able to patch up? Only when the tank is not moving. Okay. Mechanical. Initiative, initiative, please. And you are now down under 800 meters. Are 800 you? Meters. I won. Are you changing your uh, your? You're not heading straight in anymore. I take it. Race. Um, I I think I'm headed for 750 meters, and then I'll which is about which is about where you are now, roughly. Okay. Or will be by the time you get down there. Uh, yeah. Fourth so baboon. Um, you can you can parallel. well you can keep getting closer. Uh, just don't cross the 500 meter threshold just yet. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why? Sure. So then we can what? dodge in and out in and out of that 500 threshold if we need. <laughs> Technically speaking. Technically speaking. Okay, Doc. Someone's screaming for a medic, I believe. Yeah, I, I heard an ouchie, so we'll make our way as the tank violently veers over to Volk. <laughs> not, not just someone, but the same guy. The same guy. It's... That's another. Don't get knock off another bio court, please. Jeff. Um, go ahead and designate the closest laser, uh, closest laser turret. Which one? That would be the one. That would be the one on the. That would be the one on the left. That's fine. All right, the one on the left. Vote. The Fuck. designate the, the turret. The turret designation has moved. Are you changing target? Okay. Uh. I guess I'll fire on that uh, designated target. Right, go for your life. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm going back to my engineering station now. Hmm. Okay, you take four points of electrical fire damage and sparking. Doc, you take seven points because you're in the area as their panel explodes around you. Stop ah! sticking your tongue in the electrical outlet. God damn it. Cat. <laughs> All right, she's got <laughs> she'll fly. Uh, it's still at 20%. Uh, yeah, you're still at um at you're still at yeah, 700 meters. You're still at uh, where are you? Still at uh, extreme range, yes. So 20%. Yeah, cool. You're shooting your shooting your firing at the designated target. Yeah, well, I'm not going to shoot the the turret that it's not there anymore. So uh, well, it's sort of kind of still there, but yeah. Anyway, that's a miss. No, it's one critical success. Big boom. Ooh, okay. Bim bam. Okay. Uh, you and cool you're at uh, long range. That's. A uh, forty percent chance if you're firing at the at the uh, designated target. Thirty if you're not. Um, 
what's the designated target right now? The left hand uh, heavy laser turret. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. And that's oh, a hit. That is a hit, yay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... I had it at maximum, so that's 10d10. No, that's 20d10. Uh, I put slash roll 20d10. Didn't work? It said unable to find table. 20d10. Try uh, slash die. Slash die. No, oh, bugger. I thought I had that fixed. I thought I had that fixed. Sorry. Here I am bragging I got it fixed and I didn't have it fixed. Bugger. Sorry. Uh, die works, not roll. Nice. Yeah, die, die is the original one. Somebody asked me the other day, can I put a slash roll in as an wow, alias to slash die? And I thought I had it working. Yeah. Um, the good news is <coughs> you managed to hit... Uh, the bad news is you managed to hit the recordless rifle turret. What? Um, that one's already that destroyed. Uh, well, there was... Well, there was punched through and the rifle was destroyed. Um, you uh, With that amount of damage... Uh, that turret is certainly um, well and truly trashed now. Well, uh, so you're doesn't he also hit the Sonic Devastator? Uh, and so there is some flashover damage to the Sonic Devastator. Whether the Sonic Devastator is completely broken or not, you don't know because it hasn't fired yet. But I was told that the one of the laser turrets was the designated target. Yep, it was. Yeah. And for somehow you managed to miss that and get the, the uh, recoilless rifle turret. Hmm, that's odd. That is weird. Wait, well, we start? Hey? No, no, go ahead. Yeah. Cerise? Dodge, dodge! Dodge, 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 baboo! I am firing at the designated target, left laser cannon, or whatever, yeah. heavy laser. Yeah, let's see if you hit it. Yeah, well done. Damage. Yes, you managed to hit the heavy laser. Uh, your uh, gamma gun uh, punches through the turret's armor and you see, um, again, a, another small series of sparking explosions as the heavy la left hand heavy laser um, basically uh, is destroyed in front of your eyes. Very nice. I like that gamma gun. Okay. Okay. Okay, the return shot from the right hand laser um, strikes the tank uh, near the crew compartment actually near the command centre where the driver and the, command, the, the commander are the bridge uh, and manages to penetrate the bridge area so uh, Jazz you take 10 points of damage and Cerise, you take eight points of damage. Ow! Medic! And, and your tank your tank is down to under 50% um, 50 structural structure. You're heavily wounded, heavily, heavily damaged. He heavily wounded? Oh no, heavily the damaged. value of our tank is going down. Won't be it so is, good as a trade in. We'll have to get it detailed. <laughs> Anish, Anish, is please, guys. I've got a coupon for a car wash. You got a coupon for a car wash. Working at the car wash. We just need to have Babu convince the car wash attendant that this tank is indeed a car. Well, you, there are ho there are hover vehicles around the place. 
Yeah, for some reason I don't think it'll fit. The width might be a little too much. Hand Depends washed, on the cow. Hand washed. Hand washed. <laughs> hand washed. Uh, Pedro, 15. Pedro, you've got people screaming for you. And yourself. Yeah, so I think the priority's on the driver, so back over back over to the <laughs> where I was before. Are you sure? I'm feeling really lucky this turn. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, listen. Um Ben can tell you what happened last game last ga De um, Deadlands game we played when someone said something along the same lines. Ben? Well, I said that the bad thing was going to happen and that it happened, so that, no, that's, no, that's no. different. <laughs> the, 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 sharp, the, sharp shooter, the sharp shooter said, I'm a sharp shooter, I'm good enough to shoot in the melee combat and not hit our own party member. And then proceeded to hit the party member, at which point Ben's character said, Let's watch all the exploding dice. And then the dice kept exploding and exploding and exploding and exploding. And... There so someone yeah. died. Exploding and exploding and exploding. Uh, no, but someone almost lost an arm. If they, didn't have any f if they didn't have any fake chips to spend on it, they would have lost an arm. Uh, so who was that medical first That's aid call, That's why you got John? two. Cerise. That was for three. Three, so you're back healed to uh, healed up to full, I believe. And uh, close. Don't, forget to, don't forget to knock off the already done. bio cord. Plus, Voke. Uh, are you oh, wait. are you more than half wounded? Me? No, I'm at yeah. sixty out of sixty. Okay. Ah, see, oh, I was God. close again. Hmm. Close again. I'll get there one. Yeah. Bim. Oops. Sorry. I hope you. See you soon. Bim bam. Okay. Um. I'm assuming you're designating the other target, Jazz. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, wah, wah, wah. What 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 Babs? Firing at the designated target. Okay. Nice. I think Babs has got his eye in. Okay, that manages to punch through the armor, damage the gun, but the gun is still operate. The, the heavy laser is still operational. Cat. All right, cat's gonna fire at that gun. Hopefully, we kill it. Yeah, baby. That'll do it. It's fifteen d ten. Yes. Look at those dice fly. Uh, yeah, that finishes off the uh, finishes off the heavy laser. On the right hand side. Cerise? Can I get a uh, can I get a spot check off you please? Of course. Hmm. I'm a leaf on the wind. Hmm. Watch <laughs> me fly. Watch me soar. Sorry. Okay, uh, and you're at eight. You're at seven hundred fifty meters. Okay, the sonic devastator is is tracking you. What are you going to be doing? Well, let's 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 do it this way. Just give me initiatives, please, guys. Welcome back.
Then they gone. I guess I'm just too good. Oh, grind. Doc. Yeah, I believe Jazz oh, yeah. whoa, 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 no, let's, 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 let's do this properly. Cat, you've got first initiative. What are you planning on doing? All right, missing Bim Bam. Oh, uh, we him too. Oh. Sorry, Bim Bam. Well, Doesn't his initiative the same. <laughs> so, Cat, what are you planning on doing? Uh, well, she would be planning to shoot the designated target because she couldn't act until Jazz anyway. So she'd be waiting for a target and shooting. Okay. You're going to be waiting. Doc? We're going to be trying to patch up Jazz, who I believe got injured. He did. Yep. And don't forget the bio court. Dodge. Uh, jazz. Oh, hang on. Both. What are you planning on doing? Trying my luck again and shooting at the designated target, which is the laser turret, right? Or, or uh, no. Well, it's the laser turret's been destroyed, so yeah. But there's Bim still Bim, one turret left, right? No. Oh. Bim Bam, what are you planning on doing? Shooting the gun again. Okay, so Jazz, what are you doing? You're up. You're you're you. They're they're all waiting on you. Yep, yeah, we'll just designate the Sonic Devastator, which okay, which we're out of range for. I mean, it, it cannot hit us, but it's still tracking us. Yeah, Vogue, you're up. Well, I'm gonna try shooting. Okay, and you're gonna miss it. Yeah. Bim bam. Far away. Jack, uh, Jack, uh, 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 can I get a spot check off you, please? And Babu, you firing? Firing. Firing. Uh, which was which? Uh, Babu Jazz missed. Going, Babu. Babu missed. Okay. Uh, you still circling at uh, 750 meters, Cerise? Nope. Jazz told me to go to 500, so I'm headed in. Okay. So uh, you'll be at 650 meters uh, this round. Initiatives. Oh, Cat, do you want your roll? Yeah, I did. It was a miss. Oh, sorry, Mister. I missed it. Oh, there it is. There. Sorry. Um, yeah. I okay. suppose Jazz's spot did not spot anything. No, not when you roll 100, mate. <sighs> your screen was momentarily turned off. Yeah. <laughs> I, I closed my eyes for a few initiatives, initiatives, please. Uh, cat got a 12, eh? Pretty good all around. Come on, Bib Bam, don't let us down. Bam, bam, oh, got yeah. a 12. Cerise got a 13. Hey. Pedro got a 12. Yeah, nice. That's a third time in a row. Jazz, Commander, what are you doing? Well, does it make the uh, Sonic Devastator? Okay. Right Three? now, we're kind of still going parallel, closing in. You, well, you're closing straight straight in at the moment, is what I heard. Yeah, closing minus maneuvering. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you told me to go to 500, or just outside of 500. Yep. So you're um, at 650 at the moment, Cerise? Babu, firing up the target, are we? Yep. Missed. Bim bam. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah. Yeah. And you even hit what you're aiming for. <laughs> so, damage, please. 20d10.
Okay, that, that again seems to have punched through any armour. Uh, that turret, that central turret um, where the Sonic Devastator and Ricolus Rifle were is pretty much rubble by now. So is the Sonic Devastator not tracking us anymore? Well, it's not even there. Cool. All right. Uh, it seems to have collapsed inward somewhat. Cat, what are you doing? If the sonic part of it is covered up and muffled, then it can't be any threat to us, really. Cat, what are you doing? Uh, there's no target, is there? So no. Uh, not much to do. In that case, give me a spot check, please. Did we get the laser turrets? Yep, those are all down. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Uh, Pedro, you're you healing people, including yourself, possibly? Yep, just it's Pero, not Pedro. But Sorry. Pedro works, no problem. So, Sorry, with a newfound uh, respect for smoking electrical panels, we'll <laughs> uh, carefully approach Vogue's general vicinity. Yeah, what do you know, think I this is? Star Trek with the exploding panels? Yeah, of course it is. Jesus, Doc, you almost stabbed me in the eye again. <laughs> I wouldn't complain too bad. You're the one exploding panels on him. <laughs> yeah, he could have well, he, he almost stabbed me in the eye before that happened. Buck, what are you doing? Uh, well, since, you know, everything's dead, he's just doing nothing. In that case, give me a spot check, please. Okay. Initiatives, please, gentlemen. You're now closing down to about 550 metres. This is going to be when they spring out their their cloaked super weapon. Does that mean I found something? Uh, a, smoking a smoking panel? Well, I guess my search roll did found nothing then. I guess I found a smoking panel. Here's what you found. What happened to all those great consistent rolls, guys? They're all over the place. Yeah. Keep you on your toes. Yes. Well, we are consistent in one, twos, and three. Yeah, consistently bad. Jazz! Alright, so Jazz uh, currently sees no additional targets. Um, he will kind of trying to scan and see if they find anything. At the same time, he's going to tell Cerise, um, let's just start heading parallel um, uh, with the target to kind of go around the bluff so we can climb to the other side. But let's not close sure. too much further. And uh, Jazz will just kind of scan and see if we can find and see anything, any other threats. Okay, well, in that case, give me a uh, give me a search spot scan roll, please. Okay. Pear Doc? Uh, I don't think people. anyone else is injured, so... Only, uh, only yourself. Babu. Yep, no, that's what we're... Oh, Babu is hurt? Yeah, time to get outside of the tank. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm I'm heading right out there. Uh, no, <laughs> wait, 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 second thought, uh, I look to be slightly injured. I'll, I'll help myself first. Yeah, yeah. I'm all right for the moment. Funny that. And then after that, you have to tend to mats again. So Babu will have to wait. <sighs> Cat? Uh, other than sort of scanning around to see if anything else is going to kill her or needs to be shot at, uh, she is just awaiting the tank to approach something. Okay, give me a spot check, roll, search, scan, please. Ay, ay, ay. Bim, bam, what are you doing? There's nothing left to shoot, I guess, so I'll, uh... Just hold my fire. Okay, nothing else? I mean, I'll reserve my action to shoot at anything if a target appears. Okay. Vogue! I'm, uh... I'm gonna, you know, start fixing that control panel that I kind of messed up a bit. Okay. 
Okay, give me a roll. Uh, repair? Yeah. Oh. I'll see yeah, over nope. the intercom, so, so what do you guys think we should do now? Should we go inland and try and go in on foot? No, let's stay in the nice big heavily armored tank with awesome weapons on it. <laughs> it's not so heavily armored anymore. Oh, it's still heavily armored. It's got more than a robot's got. It's got a lot of holes in it, that's all. Babu? It's, it's more armored know. than I am. There's no targets, right? No. You could try to try to look around and see if Yeah, I'm just going to start scanning for anything that might pop up or become a target. Okay, give me a roll, please. Mm-hmm. Cerise? Hey, guys, look for the hollow generators. They might come back online, so take them out. Any uh, antennas, things like that, target them. Other than that, I'm going to head for a point like a apex mm -hmm. about 500 meters south of the complex and mm -hmm. be looking for obstacles in my way. And continue mm -hmm. to maneuver. Okay. Can you give me a scan roll, please? As well. Uh, okay. Nishus, please, gentlemen. That boot is consistent. Yep, we got, you guys got consistently low. Mm-hmm. Ones and three. And five. We gave you the nine. Mm. I know. You want me to fix my control panel first, I know. The idea. Why have you got two rolls? Oh, I accidentally clicked twice. Makes it hard. Vogue, what are you doing? Uh, try to repair my control panel again. Oh, all right. All right. Off you go. Not that much luck, are you? No, we got a little bit worse. Jazz? Uh, Jazz will just tell everyone Keep your eyes open, see if you can spot anything, and then Jazz will scan himself. Oh, give me a scan, Rolling, please. I see nothing. Mm, you see nothing. Doc? Uh, now, with interest of putting quite distance between himself and the panel, he will go <laughs> over and uh, <laughs> take a closer look at uh, Max. Okay, no worries. Listen, I'm trying to yeah. fix it, okay? Doc, you're yeah, a yeah. smart man. Yeah, Bim Bam? Um, is anybody getting out? No, the tank's we're, still moving. No, we're, we're still moving. Um, I'm going to get out of the turret and go down into the main thing, but I'll stay in. Uh, just... Okay. Yeah. Oh, That's I have to go outside it. to get out of the turret, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. There's no, inter right, there's no way to I'll go just... Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, do a, I'm just gonna do a search roll every turn to see if I notice or see anything. Okay, give me a search roll, in, please. Yeah, there are internal control panels for the turrets that you and uh, uh, Bim Bam are in, but you guys yeah. decided to get in the turrets themselves. So. Yes. Uh, now everything looks uh, well, apart from the smoking wreckage off to your left. Um, the, everything looks pretty um, serene and. Uh, yeah, and there's a few craters to your right where the recoilless rifle, um, sh re right rear, where the recoilless rifle shells hit. But no, things. Um, uh, actually, no, it's not because that's the water. What am I saying? Um, yeah. Therese, everything looks nice and clear. Nice and clear. Therese, what are you doing? So continue to uh, take evasive action and mm -hmm. heading toward that apex and looking for danger. Yep. Okay. Danger roll, please. Danger of Will Robinson. Okay. 
Can you, uh, sorry, can you, uh, can you join me over in the private room, please? User left your channel. Sure. User left your channel. Finally found he something. Received something. Yeah. I think oh. he does. Yeah. So why is it that when Matt leaves this channel, like you know how we have that constant, uh, constant buzz in the background? It's that it's the uh, yeah. priority speaker thing. Yeah, like now everyone's louder. That's because yep, his, much and better. Yeah, his mic is always on, so everyone's voice always gets dim. And the louder his mic is, the softer our voices become. And it's and it's, it's a constant background buzz because it's just ambient noise from his mic, which is always on. Yeah, it's like his air conditioner or something. Yeah, I've maxed everybody out, but now it's actually I can hear everyone really clearly. Yeah, I I'm turning everyone down. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm just gonna have to change when he gets back. So. Yep. I can hear something going on from across the house, but I can't hear what. Oh, he must have found something very interesting. Well, he's asking questions for sure, because he's talking and talking a bit. Rolling logic. <laughs> User joined your channel. User joined your channel. So, Cat, you're up. What are you doing? Any change in things that I can see or information that I've gotten from my screens? Well, you need to give me a roll for that, won't you? And please don't say anything, Dan, for the moment. Yep. Uh, no, not a thing, Cat. Babu? Gannon. Rolling. Okay. Initiatives, please, people. Got a nine. Game, game, got yeah, a ten. Like either one or ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jazz got a thirteen. Jazz, so jazz, now jazz, we're jazz, consistent jazz. with five and six. Babu got a thirteen. Uh, Cerise got a seven. It's got to be frustrating. Cat got a ten. Sorry, wrong button, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Babu. Huh? I actually get to go first? No, you and Jazz simultaneously, but you're alphabetically first, so... Uh, I'll be searching, yeah. Roll me, please. Mm, okay. Nothing. Jazz? Jazz says, everyone that's metagame and delay till after Cerise. No. Jazz searches. And you can't find the nose on the end of your finger. Yep. Dob? I think I finally have some quiet time. <laughs> as long as you're away from the console. Very far. Uh, Bim Bam? <laughs> wow. Okay. Bim, can you please uh, meet me over in the private room? 
User okay. left your channel. I gotta quickly turn everyone's volume down for just one bit. Your volume's really <laughs> loud. Uh, yeah, that's because Matt left. Or just tell everyone, don't talk. Does that help? User left your channel. No. No, that doesn't help, <laughs> sorry. Alright, can no one please make a successful search check? That's... I'm tired of changing all the volumes. Please, just fail just, at your dice. Why don't you just turn down your actual volume of your computer? Because I have be music in the background and, and I... Because, well... because, because... That would inconvenience me? Yes. It would be easier to do it that way, but I'm stubborn. So. So, yeah. Don't worry. A few more people, I can tell you what I see. Saw. See, saw. Figured out. I spy with my little eye. Don't worry, it won't kill all of us. Only the people in the Yet. turret. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. So, Cat. Yes? What are you doing? Doing what everybody else has been doing. Well, can you roll? Yeah. Again, um, the, the jungle. Well, I mean, apart from the rubble, to you know, the jungle seems rather the the area seems rather quiet. Uh, not much going on at all, really. Vote. All right, I'm gonna Still try to fix it. Again. Yep. Okay. God damn it! I'm only getting worse. I'm getting worse in increments of four. Ugh. Yes. Cerise. Hey guys, there's a warning light. I think it's tied to that uh, display we had. Some of the uh, some of the digits have gone blank, so either if it's counting up or counting down, we might be getting to the end. I'm seeing the same thing in my turret. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. We haven't figured out what it is though, right? No, but it's coming to an end. Can't be good. So. To the jackpot there. Yeah, I, I, I vote to not to stay in the town. <laughs> so, can I, uh, can I get an issues off everybody, please? I think we should leave the tank. Oh, uh, by the way, now that it's been brought to everybody's attention, everybody's panel has got something similar off to the side. But now that it's been brought to your attention, yeah, it's one of those. Thought I'd mention that to everybody. Did we, did we expend our as much brain power as we can towards figuring out what it is, or do we still have opportunities to try and determine what it is? Well, it depends on what you're doing on your round, I suppose. Okay. Uh, Pedro got a nine. Sorry, Pedro got a nine. Uh, six for Bim Bam. Six for cats. Uh, so, uh, Vote, you're first. What do you want to do? Uh, so, countdowns are never good, so, um, I'm getting out of the tank. It's moving at 30 kilometers an hour. Well, it's stop the tank. 
So are you are you heading towards the front hatch? Are you? Yeah, he's saying evacuate, evacuate the tank. Okay, Cerise, what are you doing? I will bring the tank to a stop and um, see. Can, do we have? Like I was asking you about, are there like eight digits and half of them are gone? Do we have any? Something type like of... that. Yeah, something, something like that. Okay. Um, can we see how quickly more digits are disappearing so we can estimate how many minutes we have or seconds? Uh, if you want to spend your next action doing that, you can. Okay, I'll spend my next action doing that. Okay. Jazz? Uh, what was that you were spending your action on? I didn't quite catch that. So uh, the, there's, you know, like like the display has 10 digits or has so, so many number of digits. Some are right. disappearing, going blank. So I'm using that. I'm assuming it's a countdown or a count up, and those blank ones are zeros. So how much longer do we have until okay. it yeah. all goes blank? Uh, so you, sp you say you spend your actions this round bringing the tank to a halt? Yep. Now, when you say bring it to a halt, do you mean bring it to a hover or actually t turning it off? Um, I don't want to power it down, but I will I will bring it to a rest. Okay. All right. So you bring it to a... So settle it on the ground. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Right. Okay. So, Jazz, what are you doing? And then then the next action, next round, is trying to figure out the this inverted commas countdown, okay? Is that yes. right? Right, good. Sounds good. Jazz, what? Yep, Jazz. All right. So, um, <laughs> just a qu real quick theater of the mind thing. So, Cerise said, "Hey guys, uh, that that counter is going down." And the next thing that happens is Volk's like, "I'm out of here," and Volk starts heading towards the hatch. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Jazz is gonna let me know if, I, if this if this is allowable. But Jazz is basically gonna just gonna look at the indicator and just try and logically work out what it's trying to tell us. Yep, okay, you can do that. Give me a logic roll. <laughs> it's trying to tell you that um, the number of the number of heartbeats it's detected since the tank started. Who knows? <laughs> With that roll, you've got no idea. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Pero. Okay, Pero is of the same mind as Cerise, so I'm going to try to figure out what this countdown, or how, how much time remains on this countdown uh, ballpark okay. okay well give me a uh, give me a logic roll please yeah um, you're unsure at this stage you'll have to you'll have to continue to work on it over the, another couple of actions rounds if that's okay bim bam the tank comes to a a halt uh, the engine is still running um, what do you want to do You gonna get out? Go down on the ground. Okay, so you're bailing out of your turret and clambering down the tank's hull onto the ground. Yes. Yes, I'll make sure to close the hatch behind me. Okay. Well, uh, so you end up on the ground in front of the tank because that's the way to get down. Right down the nose, and you're on the ground there. What are you doing, Cat? I uh, had Vogue opened anything up yet or we're still Not waiting no that, that's in the process of crawling down the access tunnel remember there's an access yeah. tunnel from the yeah uh i would be following him okay babu uh uh bim bam uh moves past your turret on the exterior of the tank uh down the nose of the tank and jumps down onto the ground in front of the tank what are you doing Did Jazz tell us to get out? Nope. Nope, Jazz did not say get out. I will continue scanning. Okay, give me a roll, please. Okay. Um, apart from what I've described to you, there's nothing else of interest around the place. Can I get an issue for all of everybody, please? Wow, okay. three tens. Cat and I are really interested in getting out. <laughs> three tens when we have no other enemy of enemies around. Cat, 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 cat. Turn off the. Turn off the. 
people turn off the lights. <laughs> well, the uh, last one out should power down the ship. Voke has the control rod. I haven't powered it down yet. Neither okay, Jazz. Jazz, 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 Jazz. What are you doing, Jazz? Um, Jazz is going to keep looking at the thing, trying to see if we can work out what it's what it actually okay. means. Another another lo logic roll, please. Okay. Does that maybe tell us something? Nope. Except that another digit's disappeared. <laughs> okay. Um, Jazz is going to go. Get out. Cat. Uh, he. Oh, Cat and Voke. You both are on the same count, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving. Uh, no, I'll do, I'll do vote, I'll do vote first, come back to Cat. Mm. Yeah. Toast? Did someone say toast? I'm Toasty the Toaster. I've been watching Red Dwarf lately. Um, Vogue, what are you doing? You're getting out, are you? Great show. It is. Yeah, I'm getting out. Okay, so, um, the front hatch opens up, and Vogue scrambles out, followed quickly by Cat, is that right? Yep. Uh, when you get out there, you see uh, Bim Bam is already standing on the uh, on the ground uh, at the front of the tank, um, having obviously vacated his turret. Um, do you join him? I'm assuming you do. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Except I'm standing near the access for the uh, on, where the control on the rod. Tank. No, uh, on the I tank. mean the little hole where the rod. Goes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, Babu, uh, you see the front access hatch open up and uh, Voke and Cat scramble out and join, basically join uh, Bim Bam on the ground. Uh, what do you want to do? There's still been no, no, no command from the tank commander. What's going on, Jess? And I'm going to open up my turret hatch and stand up in it. Well, yes, okay. Basically half in, half out. Yeah, yeah, I, that's what I figured. Yep, Jazz, you got a question there? Can Jazz respond? Yeah, of course. Yeah. They're half in, yeah, half out, in more than one way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Jazz says, get out, get out. I just saw another digit disappear. Get out, get out. Yeah, Bim Bam. Now out. you haven't you haven't heard any of this. Um, so what what you've seen is the hunt the front hatch open. Um, Voke and Bab uh, Voke and Cat scramble out and join you. Um, and Babu is half out of his turret. What do you want to do, Bim? So what's in the surroundings? I mean, how far away from the installation did we go? Um, well, uh, you were heading for a point about half a kilometre south of the uh, the installation so you're not you're not far you're not far from that yeah you know, 470 meters whatever uh, from south of the uh, south of the uh, of the turret installation of, of the of the installation you blew up so the installation uh, basically that is is at the very south tip of this island or of this bluff of this bluff of this ridge yeah pretty much okay um, the um, so you're currently on the plains. You're currently in plain country, uh, gently rolling hills, plains, grasslands. The grass is about waist between knee and waist height, depending on exactly where you stand. Um, but that's the, and the the tank is currently uh, engines running, but settled on the ground right beside you. Okay, um, who's the Mister Fix It guy? I can't remember. Oh. Uh, Vogue's the Vogue, engineer. Okay. Um, Vogue, do you think there's any chance of repairing any of this damage? Significantly repairing? I mean, uh, I, I imagine the chance is no. The answer is no. But the armor? I can't fix the armor. No, not without a workshop. Not, not, yeah, thank you. Not without a workshop. Right. Can be done though. It's well, just armor. Yeah. Well, it would be nice. I mean, if we if we can get this thing off world. Um, then it can be fixed. Um, I suggest that we go and uh, and cautiously head south down to the installation to see if we can get in and see what's there. Uh, 
you, I think you mean north. You are north, south okay. of the installation. Oh, okay. Then north, yes. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Voke? What do you think, Cat? would be secretly hoping that uh, Jazz or Cerise would power down the tank and maybe it doesn't explode uh, but yeah we would be aiming to get as far away as possible with our gear in the direction of the compound yeah you could okay, yell that well, over comms and just suggest while we're discussing this down. the doctor is going yes, to doc, attempt to have? remove Max. It seems that everyone seems to have forgotten our patron. Oh, right, yeah. He's unconscious on the floor, so um, the doctor has not forgotten, so that's what he's going to do. <laughs> right, not that guy. Uh, actually, actually, because of that, uh, award, your, award yourself an experience point. Or should I say a bonus experience point? Same thing. Uh, so Doc starts dragging Max out through the access tunnel. Cerise. So can I? I'll try to figure out how long we have. Yes, you'll figure out how long we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah Not yet. You're not. <laughs> so, and this is please, gentlemen. How many digits left do we see? Well, it's hard to tell because they're not actual digits, but um, three or four. I assume they're all like in a row and not in various places. Uh, well, sort of, but yeah, some yeah they alternate up and they alternate alternate high and low. Like, um, for example, if the if they were written in inside hexagons, and you know how hexagons are offset up and down. Yes. Yeah, that I, that type of idea. Hmm. Uh, well, we have no way of knowing which order, which direction they read their script anyway, so... No. <sighs> 13 for Power Road, Jazz got a 16. Sleeping Jazz, sleeping. Oh, for them, bam. And 13 for cat. So, Jazz. All right. Um, can Jazz work together with Cerise to try and figure out the countdown? I have assumed you've been doing that anyway. Oh, okay. All right. Um, all right. So, Jazz will kind of take a look again and see if we can figure out with Cerise. Um, but mm -hmm. then also say Cerise, like, you know, we'll, we'll give this another few seconds, but you know, if we can't figure it out, we might want to power down and get out. How's that? Okay. Yeah, that helps a lot. Um, I'll wait and see what Cerise rolls when it, when it's her turn. But that's good. Cat, you're outside the tank. You're heading north with Bim Bam, or you're going in a going in a different direction? Uh, heading north with Bim Bam. Right. Doc, you managed to uh, drag Max out onto uh, the nose of the uh, of the tank with a lot of grunting and and groaning and and things like that. It's a shame nobody helped you. <laughs> I think we'll unceremoniously <laughs> dump him over the side and then jump down. Fair enough. I'll feel Bim that man. in the morning. You could also hit him with a stim dose. That should wake him up. Um, Bim Bam hit. Heading north with Cat, I take it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm trying to go as well as I remember towards the, you know, towards yeah, yeah. the That's installation. Okay. And uh, but we are being careful. We're not like crashing through the woods like bears. Yeah. Well, it's pl no, no, no. It's right. And it's planes that you're in. Don't forget. So I that's okay. Right. Well, still nope. waiting. We try to be cautious and stealthy. Yeah. That's right. Well, funnily enough, uh, the, po the both of you looking towards the. Uh, there's no sign of life on the at the installation at all. Um, so yeah, Vogue, what are you doing? Going with them or helping Doc or what? I'm 
not running away with them quite yet. Uh, <sighs> screw it, I'm helping Doc. Okay, that's good. But he's staying Bad up news. there. But he's staying up near the Atsis. Uh huh. Yeah. Babu. I can get out of the turret and head down there too. And if Doc needs it, I'm sure I can shoulder uh, our patient and carry him if we need to. Mm hmm. Uh, and Cerise, I'm assuming you're still working this, trying to work out this, whatever it is? Yes. Okay. Look, um, Jazz and Cerise, between you, you reckon it could be anywhere from the equivalent of, say, five minutes through to 50. Five let's evacuate. 50 minutes. Yeah. Um, let's power it down as well. So I don't know if we can do it now. Power down and exit. Yeah, power it down. That's the okay. Plan. So um, all this. Uh, so uh, um, for those of you outside the tank, the tank uh, actually powers down. The engine gets shut down uh, over the course of a couple of minutes. Yeah, Jazz uh, will also uh, yell into the Conacom. Well, we're we're on the way out. All right. And the voice comes out of the Conacom. Um, and after a minute or two. Uh, Jazz and Cerise um, coming up through the um, through the access hatch. Um, so, Cat and Bim Bam are about a hundred meters closer to the installation than than you guys are. Uh, everybody else is around the the nose of the, uh, uh, the the nose of the tank, which is settled into the grass. Yep, and both uh, <laughs> once. Once everyone is off the tank and is not near it or touching it, he's going to take the control rod, stick it into the hull, turn on the uh, little force field. Okay. And then oh. he's going to start moving. Oh, um, one thing that, and this is just a little side note, um, one thing that you guys may not have noticed last session, but it, was, it, it, it kind of struck my mind when I was watching it on YouTube, is you guys mentioned a lot about sticking a rod into holes. Stick it in the hole. Take it out of the hole. Stick the rod in the hole. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what are you getting at? Yeah. Uh -huh. not, not just, just Where are you going at? <laughs> Get your it's mind out of the gutter. It's a white male kind of thing. And this is why the YouTube videos have an adult rating on them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're all. Uh, so you're all out of the tank. Um, uh, Cat and Bim Bam, are you waiting for the others to catch up with you or not? Uh, yeah, that would be the idea. Unless they're shouting back at us to uh, come back for some reason. Or run. Yeah, or the opposite. <laughs> right. So, so Max is, is unconscious on the on the ground. Well, I'm assuming you guys are carrying him at the moment. Yeah. All right. Um, I think we... Babu should be able to just fire him and carry him. Well, between between Jazz and Doc Perro and Babu, Babu with his uh, psychological skills, um, can we determine how bad or how big of a risk it would be to wake him at this point, or should we just let him stay under? Well, if you let him stay under, you're going to have to carry him. Or right. leave him behind. Um, so if you can wake we get him, some kind of his, yeah. Do we have some kind of idea around his like physical and mental state if we were to wake him? Well, we weren't sure. I mean, just from the last session, we couldn't figure out why he was freaking out. So that's why we put him but, to sleep. Yeah, the threat of a nuclear gotcha. explosion isn't gonna help. <laughs> so I would keep him asleep. Now. Who said right. anything about nuclear explosion? Voke? Because yeah. nuclear energy can do that? I suppose. 
The doc is kind of curious about going back into the tank to see if the uh, countdown stopped or not. Well, when well we shut the, uh, the screens are off, so yeah, you after can't. We shut down, does uh, the screens go off? Presumably. But there's priorities with his patient, so. N nice recovery. Yeah, well, when Let's you go clear out the Sapphire base, and if the tank hasn't blown up, then we can come back and we'll have plenty of time. Yeah, let's get in the base, because it's, it's an underground, we think it's an underground bunker. Where do you hide from nuclear explosions? Underground bunker. Let's go. Sounds prudent. Onward. All right, so you make, so, yes, make your way, if you make your way around to the uh, uh, northeast, Direction. Pardon me. Um, yep. You eventually come across. Uh, let me set this up for you. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if you can see the see the dotted line, wavy dotted line going down the left hand edge of that map. Yep, yeah, no I can problem. see. It. That's partly covered and partly not. That's basically the edge of the bluff line. Uh, it's rather that's rather steep cliff area. So staying off the rather steep cliff area, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, there are a number of uh, of structures um, because they're odd shape. It's very hard to mask them, so I'm just going to unmask them as they are. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to do that map again again, I think. It's a rotten, not a very good copy. Yeah, the resolution is quite, quite bad. Yeah, it's, well, the trouble is it's a big map, and I, I dropped the resolution down to try and make it fit, but that's okay. It's all part of the... Part of the... Okay. So, yeah... Um, so, um, yeah, these buildings are prefabbed. Um, so north is to the right? North is basically up the map. Okay. More or less. Um, give or take. More or less, kind of, sort of. Um, so, yeah, um, the buildings are prefab. There is a jet copter. Uh, you can see in front of one of the buildings. Like a frontier jet copter? Like a frontier jet copter. Um, and uh, I think, I don't know what I think it is. And uh, that's all, that's that there. Whoops, hang on, turn that off. That there is, appears to be a hover car. You are coming up from the south. Uh, there's that pond, um, and as I said, these these buildings seem to be prefabbed uh, and dropped into place. Yeah, I have a, just a health-related question. Babu, was were you the one who was hurt? Yeah, for a point. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to give Babu some medical attention. Uh, it was just one. No. Well, how much is he down overall? Oh, in that case, might be worthwhile. I'm sorry, it's really, really... L I can't hear. Who? Someone's down 15? Who is that? Yep, Babu. Babu. Heal Babu. The guy who took one point, but is really down 15. Because he was injured before him. Previous damage from the uh, gamma guns in the uh, east quarters. Oh, you did too, yeah. He almost took a rock to the head when he are tried negotiating diplomacy. Ma on the map you showed us, are any of those the turrets that we blew up? No, the turrets are to the uh, to the left of the map, off on the other side of the ridge. Okay. The other side of the ridge and the bluff. So the ridge and the bluff are on that, are, are off to the left hand side of the map. Okay. The uh, the jet copter. And it's all well, front, it's it frontier, but each race has their own style, right? 
yeah, sort of, kind of. It's, that's more of an arch architectural thing. Um, most of the ve most vehicles and that. I mean, um, Vrusk equipment tends to be slightly different because Vrusk are physically are physically um, different, but it, all the others seem to be pretty well standardised to the to the basic humanoid shape. Um, so it's a it's a generic jet copter. Okay, so we can't necessarily tell from afar what race it could be. If it no, 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 no. Don't forget, you're saying this from a, from a fair distance away. Yeah. I'm assuming you're a fair distance away still. We're moving closer and closer to it, though. You are. Anything about this? Any type of familiarity with, like, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's all prefab. It's all stuff you've seen before, in one form or another. Um, so, now I've got a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, why is that? Oh, you know, just the conspiracy theorist Stralocyte going on and on. <laughs> Nuclear explosion first, and now all of a sudden this is like a secret laboratory that the UPF has, and we just, you know, blew it up. You know. With Sapphire Cyborg robots. Yeah, I... It's, uh... No, that's... <laughs> That's true, Jess. None of them, all of them look like generic, prefab, prefabricated um, buildings, structures. Yeah. I'm going to make sure my force axe is ready. Oh, oh, you, yeah, you've listened I got to my over under gyrojet rifle out. Oh, ye of little faith. With a high explosive grenade loaded. Jazz, Cerise said they were sap. There was nothing marking them as sap. Cyborg oh, robots you, we saw. Weren't those? Oh, were those not of like familiar Sathar design? Didn't they have Sathar upper bodies uh, and tracked lower bodies? They seem to have. Yes. So, for those of us who came from Volturnus, we would have concluded, we would have strongly believed that those robots were of Sapphire design. But none of these buildings and vehicles here in front of us look Sapphire in origin. So, what happens when you put Sapphire and you put, not UPF, but Frontier prefab building you on an alien planet? in the middle of no well I shouldn't say in the middle of nowhere in the middle of uncharted UPF space you get uh, a secret laboratory built by Sathar spies using frontier stuff but with the help of Sathar they didn't use Sathar buildings they used you they used frontier buildings so that probably so means there's frontier people who lit who are here that are collaborators. Yeah, which is what Volk is saying. Sathar spies. Sathar spy base, yes. That deserve to die. <laughs> Probably even more than Star Devils. Is anyone else having difficulty hearing? I, I, I can't hear anything. Massive now we're feedback. all good. We're all good, mate. Yeah, you okay, gotta turn I, up I, everyone's I, individual volume, cause again, yeah, as that. as Matt's mic gets louder, everyone gets soft. Oh, sorry, I'll keep talking then to stop that from happening. Sorry. Um, um, Jazz. Jazz. Yep. As our as our military expert. <laughs> God, that's almost a contradiction in terms. <laughs> As our military expert, something has been niggling at the back of your mind. Is that no patrol okay. has come to investigate the destruction of the bunker and or 
you or the tank. There's been plenty enough. There's been enough time for a patrol to be sent out. Yeah, well, Jazz will mention this. Kind of strange that no one's come to check out all the death and destruction that we've rained down upon them. It might be automated. I mean, they've been gone for a long time. Either, either the people here, A, just got here, or B, are very long-lived slash immortal, or C, it's automated. Or we kill them in the turrets. It's remotely possible, I guess. Or they're hiding from us. Or they're all dead. Oh, let's, it's an ambush. Let's go secure the hover car and the jet copter. We're gonna if if the tank blows up like Voke thinks, we're gonna need those to get out of here. We're gonna need them both. All right. All right. So you're heading in as a group, are you? Well, at some point we need to leave Max, like under a tree or something. Under a tree. In a build. Uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Weekend Put him in at the Bernie's? hover car in the passenger seat. I can leave Max there. For my circle. So if if we don't see anything, scanning carefully using Magna goggles, IR. Um, I want to proceed up to the hover car and the jet copter, see if Voke and I can disable them without damaging them. You know, pull the Pull the distributor cap or something equivalent so that Put we a can take. The tailpipe. Yeah, banana in the tailpipe so that we can use them when we come back and repair them, but somebody else isn't going to be able to jump in them. Mm, okay. So you're going to make your way towards the jet copter and the hover car, is that right? Yep. Unless somebody objects. That's fine. <clears throat> like I said, I think I'd put Max under the tree there. And once we secure the building, or the, the vehicles, we can even put them in like the uh, air car or the uh, gyrocopter, deck copter. Yeah, like take out the spark plug. There you go. Take out the spark uh, plug. When we Can't do anything without Max. a spark plug. When, when we leave Max under the tree, uh, Jess is going to leave a little written note. <laughs> on him that says we'll be right back Just we'll be right back oh dear okay so you put Max down under one of the trees nearby and head your way in towards the heck jet copter and hover car um, you get close enough to the jet copter to see that it appears to be a standard um standard UPF uh, Frontier jet copter. Uh, the doors on the jet copter are closed and there are no markings at all on the outside, no livery. Uh, from the front of the machine extends the barrel of what appears to be a heavy beam weapon of some sort. Okay. Can I get spot checks off everybody, please? Okay. Taking into account various modifiers. Cat and Cerise, you note as you get reasonably close to the jet copter um, when a human uh, figure uh, breaks from the building there um, and dives uh, uh, quickly wrenches open the door of the jet copter on the far side of you uh, climbs in and begins its um, startup sequence startup 
sequence. You are still too far away to rush the jet copter at this stage. Uh, what would you like to do, you two? If I if if we're not going to be able to get to it before he finishes startup sequence, oh no, I'm probably not. No. Then uh, grenade. If I'm grenade. Who came out and got into it? A human or a humanoid figure. A humanoid figure. Looks like a human. Just right. checking my Cat? range. Cat. Mm -hmm. Cat, what are you doing? Oh, it's extreme range for a grenade. Uh, for a Cat? grenade launcher. Yes. I'd be. I'd be not not having an an action that I can do myself. I'd be letting everybody know that this has happened. Hopefully, okay. Jazz he is. Jazz, would you? Uh, yeah, sorry, um, Cat. Uh, Cerise, would you use your uh, grenade launcher roll, please? Yeah. So, uh, what was the range? How how far away are we? Hundred to two hundred meters. Yeah, about that. Hold on for a second. Um, hey, uh, um, Oz, uh, what yeah, mate, would you up? say the range, the range on my telekinesis is? Is it just sight, or is there the rules do it's, not mention a range? It's line of sight. Okay, so if I could, for example, take that grenade and float it over there real fast and drop it under the copter. Yeah. No. Well. Um, Possibly, but it's a grenade out of a grenade launcher. So I don't oh, know. I yeah. Uh, a throwing grenade? Yeah, probably not a problem. But from a grenade launcher? No. Good idea, though. Yeah. Um, just give me that roll, please. Thank you. Well, you know who does have handheld grenades? Uh, so the grenade goes, uh, goes wide by a fair way. Um, explodes harmlessly. Um, so, from that point, I suppose I'd better get initiatives off everybody. Yeah, that, now they know we're here. That might have been a mistake. They already knew we were here. The like guy rushed into the helicopter. Well, they knew someone was here somewhere. But... Yes. So, eight for Jazz. Jazz, 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 Jazz. Got an eight. Uh, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro got an 11. Uh, we'll call it 170 metres. Make it easy for us. 15 for Cat. That's going to make a difference for people. Babu got a 9. Bim Bam got a 14. Everybody? Cerise, where's yours? 11. I thought I rolled it. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't see it. And no, no, you did. I just didn't. Okay. I just didn't see it. Uh, Vote for six. And mm, our friendly neighbourhood dude. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, cat, you're up. You're about 170 metres away. The chopper is spooling up and will take off this round. Oh, this uh, round. Yeah. Where are we in particular? About, about, 100 me about 170 metres, just about 170 metres south of the helicopter. Ah, uh, yep, okay. Yep. Ah, uh, so no obvious building to jump in to get cover. Cool. No. Uh, trees, rocks, Things like that, you can get cover if you want it. Yeah. Uh, she she said 170 meters, right? Yeah. Uh, so that'll be a, a medium range penalty. She may as well fire a burst on this thing. See, see what's going to happen. At the helicopter. Yeah. Okay. So Cat opens up with her machine, with her auto assault rifle, whatever it is. Or needler, right? It's not a needler, the, is it? The automatic rifle. That's what I thought. That's extreme range. Yeah. 
No, 170 is long and it's got a scope, so it's a it's a thing down, so it would be a medium penalty. Is it? I thought like 300 up to 300 is extreme. From one, right? It's 151 to 300 is extreme. It depends on the weapon. Automatic rifles, yeah. Automatic rifles can put one at 300. Ah, it'd be long. Yeah, it's yeah. not long. It's that's extreme range, right? It's just with the scope, the penalty will be long. Yeah, it that'll drop it down to long. That'll drop it down to long with the scope. Yes. And the burst is a plus 20. Yeah, okay. And when you roll a critical fail... Yeah, it's fucking dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what, six critical fail? Something like that. Seven. There you go. You got Seven. three. Babu got one. I got one. Yes. Yeah, got one. Oh, wait. Um, Make that eight. Your, 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 your rifle, your assault rifle jams, um, and you'll need a round to clear it. Yep. Okay. Bim bam. What are you doing? So you said this is a jet copter. Yeah, it's been a jet copter. So it has actual jet turbines on it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, with my telekinesis, I'm going to grab a couple nearby rocks about the size of eh, golf balls and uh, zoom them over there and try and throw them into one of the turbines in the front so they destroy the turbines. Mm-hmm. Well, I need a telekinesis roll off you for that one, please. Sure. Okay. All right. Sweet. Sweet. Let's see how much damage you do. D10 for the damage. Yeah, I mean it should do. The damage should be done by them going into the into mm. the blades of the turbine and just ripping those mm. apart. But okay. D10. D10 for the damage. Yep. Well, we are talking about a tiny rock. Well, a golf ball isn't that tiny. That's and tiny I enough. Put a couple of them. All right, so know, throw, uh, throw throw a golf ball size rock into a jet engine of an airliner and see what happens. Or throw at, not necessarily in, but yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, you managed to throw a rock at the uh, throw a rock mentally at the um, at the jet copter. Not a problem. Cerise, what are you doing? Well, into the turbine. Careful lane. Well, you um, may not have hit the into the turbine area. Is um. I forgot the rules on the grenade. I could uh, rate of fire. Oh, so no, I'll just do um, mm -hmm. three shots from my gyro jet rifle. Okay, so you're pulling three or two? Three rounds. Yeah, you can do three rounds. Um, all right, three rounds at 170 meters. And then there's a should be a plus twenty five on these next two that I'm gonna leave off. Mm -hmm. so yeah, well, none minutes. of that. Yeah, twits. So you want to roll me two sets of damage, please? Excellent. And excellent. All right. Uh, the jet copter is taking a, is taking some damage. Um, the engine has misfired once or twice in that little little um, exchange so far. Doc, what are you doing? Uh, we'll just keep our head down and wait to hear. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> are you going to ground? Are you? Indeed. Okay. No worries. Babu, you cannot throw a four sack to 170 meters. I like how that's what you lead with. Yeah. I just know how James Close thinks. That's the, all. Uh, gyro jet if it doesn't get out of here. Sorry, say again. Gonna close on the gyro jet. For the, uh, okay. Well, you, you know your movement, right? I do. Well, you will start at 170 meters, so yeah, you'll be that much closer when at the end Run of the round. Run 30 per turn. 
There you go. So you'll be at 120 metres at the end of the turn. Jazz. Um, Jazz will... It's pretty far. Um, but it's okay. Jazz will shoot. Uh, Jazz will take shoot. careful aim and shoot at the jet copter. Okay. Ping will shot. Get a get a hip. Uh, invoke. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm I'm doing a burst fire from my automatic. Okay. With my scope. Okay. Piloting roll. Whip. Yeah, you missed that one. So piloting roll, and finally, okay. The get the jet copter lifts off only to a height of about ten meters. In the process of lifting off, swivels its nose uh, towards you uh, and starts coming uh, starts coming towards you. Um, the pilot also triggers off um, the uh, beam weapon mounted in the nose of the uh, uh, of the jet copter. Uh, it's a heavy laser. The good news is it misses everybody. Uh, and I need initiatives of everybody, please. Uh, and there is a distinct, there's there's a distinct vibratory noise that doesn't sound good coming from the jet copter's engine. Just thought I'd mention that. Like, as in, um, not a good noise, as in, like, from damage. Yeah. Like it will make big boom. Yeah, or just oh, fail. Oh, maybe, or just fail. Either way. Yeah. I mean, well, he's gonna crash if he fails. If the engine fails, yeah. he's gonna. Cr he's only the ten off the ground. It's the spinning blades that do the damage. <laughs> it is the spinning blades that do the damage. Oh, bam, bam, got an eight. And cat got a nine. Cat got a nine. Cat got a nine. Where's cat? This is. And the helicopter pilot. Oh, that's not good. So, Jazz, you've got first go. The um, jet so copter. It didn't move any it, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It started to come towards you. Um, it, uh, it it's at, a, at now at about 120 meters from your initial. Uh, 20, sorry, 140 meters from your initial. Uh, its a, its initial uh, start point. Um, or your initial start point, uh, which puts it about 90 metres from Babu. Alright, um, is there... Is that right? No, that's not right. Hang on. Um, yeah, there is, if you want to dive for cover. Uh, there's trees and that route. There's a few trees and a couple of rock outcrops. It's 110 um, from Babu. 110 from Babu. That sounds better. Thank you. Well, does it look like it would be hard or soft cover? Uh, it would be soft yeah, cover. Actually, you know what? Um, um, you got an albedo screen? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, but it's not turned on. Well, we would have turned it on. We wouldn't be approaching. You all didn't the stuff tell me you turned. You didn't tell me you turned it on. Is this going to be one of those situations where it's something that's obviously <laughs> we would do, but we didn't say it, so it doesn't count? Yeah, but the obvious all things right. to do. You off, you off, hang on, the obvious things to do often get missed and overlooked. Okay. All right. Um, can I just say a standing thing that every time Jazz pulls out a rifle in his hand, if he's got an albedo screen, he's going to turn it on? No, you can't say that as a standard. You need to tell me each okay. time because it's the type of thing that gets forgotten. All right. Um, Jazz will uh, turn on his albedo screen. Turn on his albedo screen and then run. Or well, if yes. He can, if he still has a movement action, he'll run. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a in a dodging manner. You're going to dodge forward, are you? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's, that's effectively half your movement rate because you're zigzagging right. back and forth. Okay. So that'll be about 15 meters. I'm going to kind of keep track. So yeah, yeah. He's about okay. 140. He was. Yep. Okay, I'll, I'll note it down. Okay. Where's the party sheet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's you, Babu. What, me? Yeah, you're getting shot at. Oh, good. By a heavy laser. Uh, the bolt just manages to miss you. Um, if you'd have zigged instead of zagged that last movement, you would have uh, zagged your way into the in the middle of the bolt and taken um, a heavy laser bolt. Uh, and you haven't t switched anything on yet, if you have anything to switch nope, on. No, I haven't turned it on. Doc? But I did just think of that, so... Mm, I Doc? didn't hear any ouchies, You're still so gone to ground? Yeah, still. <laughs> okay. Cat? Uh, can she manage to get away with turning on her screen and clearing a gun in the same action? Yes. I'm not that much she'll of an I'm not that much of an a hole. She'll do that. Okay. Bim. So the rock that I threw to the turbine, it did nothing. Mm, not necessarily. That engine doesn't sound good. Well, that's good. Okay. Um, I don't know. I guess. Hmm, how far away are we? 140 meters now. Oh, that's pretty far. And it's closing. Uh, and closing. It's closing. Why? Because they're getting nearer to us. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, since we're together, one thing we should do is is not make a single target, so I'll move off to one side so Cat and I are separated from each other. Okay. Is that, is that all you want to do? Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of gun I have. I have a laser pistol. I guess I'll try a shot with that, even though I suck with it. Uh, you got range with a laser pistol? Do I have a range? It's no, range range. Oh, yeah, it's extreme range. That will be extreme. Yeah, no, no, that's extreme I mean, range. It's, it's a hail mirror. Yeah, it's in... Whatever. Hey, hail... Um, me into one shots come off nine times out of ten. Right. Well, not this that time. That, that obviously... Yeah, that obviously wasn't a me into one shot. Obviously not. Cerise. Turn on my screen, and um, yeah. can I still take careful aim? Yes. Flicking a screen on doesn't take much. So it's, it's, it, it's technically a free action, sort of. All right. And then uh, three shots. No, not with careful aim, you don't. Careful aim's one shot. Okay. Uh, where's my attack? Can you careful aim and do a burst? Nope. And there should be a minus 25 on the last two. Yeah. Or, uh, minus 20, sorry, not 25. So they all miss. Yeah, that's one hit. No, that's one hit. That last one should be a hit. Okay. Right. Uh, good? Sort of? Kind of? Mm. Vogue, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to turn on my, uh... Smoke coming out of that engine. Uh, can I turn on my sh screen and fire? Yeah. Yep, that's what I did. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. 
Uh, there, there, there seems to be a little bit of smoke coming from the jet copter's main engine. Yeah. Let me get that. And I'll send out another bird. Mm-hmm. Still rolling the same exact numbers. Yeah, and missing badly. Babu, are you still running forward? Yeah, I put an arrow on there, show you where I'm running towards. Unless it, oh, I do realize that the uh, helicopter might actually crash it before there gets past me. But while I'm running, I want to get that Albedo screen on. Yep, no worries. So, you All wanna, right. I got uh, 30 meters, but if you want to take like five off while I kind of slow down to do that. No, 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 no. It's a matter of flicking it on, mate, that's all. Assuming you're not dodging running forward. If you're, if nah. you're dodging and running forward, you got to, you know. Right. No, I'm trying to cut it around fast. <coughs> yep, in that case, I have <coughs> an issue of rolls, please. <coughs> Sorry, we're copying everybody here. It did. It, now, it fired on Babu and missed, remember? Uh, he went early on. Uh, yeah, he went very early on. He got a very good roll on his initiative. Vote got a 13. And Doc got a 10. Jazz got a 17. Babu got a 4. Where to go, Babu? That cat got an 8. You got standards to maintain. They may be low standards, yeah, exactly. but I got standards. <laughs> standards. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Okay, let's go. Jazz, you're up. Don't worry. The rest of your people have low standards for you, too. <laughs> um, if, if I were to wait, because it's moving. Now, so now. I, if I were to, on my yes, turn, if I were to delay until after it finishes moving, does that erase my dodge, or is my dodge still ongoing? Uh, well, are you stopping, or are you still running? Still, still, um, well, still, hmm, it just depends on what, if I delay, and then I'm just going to see Yeah, no, mm, no, okay, if you delay, you're stopping. Okay, all right, that's fine. Um, so, so or, or, you, or you tell me you're still dodging, in which case, you can still delay, but I mean, it's going it, it, to, I need to know what you're doing, because you've got action, all right? And you um, can't just say, if you're going to, if you mean, yeah, you know, you're, if you don't want to be penalized for, for by standing still and going, well, what am I going to do? You need to tell me what yeah, you want to do. Yeah, so basically what I want to do is um, um, keep dodging, uh, but once yes. it moves, once it moves closer, then I'm going to take a shot at it. It's kind of the idea. Right, right. yeah, that's that's fine. You can do that, right? So you get a normal, you get a normal move, and because you're mm -hmm. dodging, it's half that, so... That's about seven or eight metres. You're going to move forward about seven or eight metres, dodging the whole way, and when he gets to his closest approach, you're going to fire. Right. Yes? Okay. Yep. Is that, yep, is that what you want to do? And you yep, get one shot. Right. Or one burst. One shot. Right. right, okay. No worries. Okay. Uh, piloting roll. You've taken some damage. Uh, no, it manages to hold on. Aims at the majority of the group. Uh, fires. A little bit of scatter. That's going to get Cerise, Envoke, and Pero, and Cat. It's going to get the four of you, that is. Um, so let me roll some damage. You don't all take the same amount, by the way. Uh, all right, each of you takes 32 points of damage. Everybody was that close to oh. No, that was... That was that was Voke and Pero and Cat and Cerise. So even though I was taking cover, 
Oh, and now, uh, if you're taking cover, um, you can halve that. You said and, of 32? course, screens and that all apply as well. Yeah, 32 of laser damage. So um, if you've got screens or appropriate suits, you can halve that as well. If so you've got both, you can keep on halving it. Have you got a screen and a, and a, and a beat suit, have you? No, I've got a uh, albedo screen and an inertia and a skin suit. Yeah, well, skin suit won't stop anything. No, but the albedo yeah. screen stops all of it. Yeah, if you've got the energy for it, that's right. Yep, seven points of energy. Excellent. Oh, seven energy points, yep, okay. Cat, you take your damage? Yep, just took the seven points off Hero. the thing. Yeah, yeah. You have you uh, you take half that because you're undercover. You said that. Yep. And Voke, you uh, I cover took yourself my screen as off. normal. You did. So, uh, Voke, you're just as you get shot, you get an action. Cool. Uh yeah, I'm gonna. How close is he now? Uh, by now he's getting. Uh, down to about 90 meters, and that means you can have your shot too, Jazz, in a sec. Cool. Let me see my gun. I forgot to change it last round. Uh, if he's that, that means he is in medium range. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then I use my scope to make it short. Okay. Roll, do do. God damn it! You still missed. That's. What, what's the what's Jay? the chance in that? What is it? Freaking. <sighs> Jazz. Let's see. I'm looking up. So from where I'm at, he moves. So I think that's about 65 meters from me now. That makes uh, I uh, that would be about what I re would it work out to be. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So that'll put me at medium range. Uh, let me take a shot. Uh, medium. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's a misfire on your rifle, dude. Um, yep. Your power pack sh is uh, shorted out, so you're actually out of ammo, and you'll need to change your uh, change your power pack over. Um, so okay. how does that work with the power backpack? So it's a power backpack. It has your seven. You, 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 yeah, no, you've drained your power pack. You've drained your power okay. backpack. All right. So the backpack's gone. All right. Cool. Got it. Well, that's no, not gone. Just empty. That's a lot of power. That's what you did. Yeah, that's a lot of power. Yeah, well, you shorted it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero, uh, Doc, yeah, Doc, what are you doing? Yeah, well, we just got smacked, so I think uh, perhaps best to take care of ourselves before we take care of others. Okay. Bim bam. You're luckily outside the area of, uh, right. uh, of attack. I'm going to try to continue to go around and flank the guy. Um, or actually... Um, we're about where that green circle was, you said, right? Yeah, more or less. Roughly, okay. I'm going to head northwest. What's number 13? Is that mm -hmm. like a hover car? That's a hover car, yeah. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to like, run over there and try to head for the car. Head that car. Yeah. Gotcha. You won't make the whole way this no. round, but okay, Whatever. that's fine. Yeah, and I'm yeah, going to, you know, serpentine and stuff and not like, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Cat. I'm at medium range now. Well, if it's 90 meters, which we think it, which we agreed it was, yes. Yep. Cool. But with the scope, it becomes short. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She's going to fire her last burst for this clip uh, and hope that it does something useful. Yep. Awesome. 
Roll me the damage, please. Now, uh, with the the uh, the bigness of this uh, tank, because with the burst you get like one extra die per person around. Am I going to get any extra dice by this helicopter being big and me spraying it? Nope. Nope. That's rough. That's, well, you got the you got the burst fire bonus, bonus to hit something, didn't you? Oh, is there a size modifier for? It? There is, but you haven't been hitting it. I've been keeping an eye on it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's like only like, what, five or ten, so... There's also a speed modifier, but it's flying right towards you, so it doesn't really apply either. Okay. Ooh! Okay. Let me just check that. That's going to cause some... There we go. And we... Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I get um Voke and Pero and Cat and Cerise all to make me a reaction speed check, please? Oh, uh, okay. Rip. Oh, I made. Where do I see that? Uh, it's one of your um, main abilities. One of your attributes. That just attributes. shot down the helicopter and it landed right on it. Yep, it landed right right on. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, cat uh, cat's burst catches the uh, the helicopter in uh, in uh, whether you either catch the helicopter or punch through the the screen and catch the pilot. But the uh, the helicopter staggers in midair and plows into the ground where you are all standing. And does a furrow, furrow along the ground, so it wasn't right on top of you. It's like you know, in front of you, and then skids, and 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 so uh, most of you managed to dive out of the way. This is a good thing, um, except for cat. Except for cat. Well, even those who managed to dive out of the way still take half damage. Oh. So well. uh, full damage is um, eight d ten. So half damage is eight d ten divided by two. You can each roll that yourselves if you like. And there's no cheap, improved evasion. No one gets off scot-free. <laughs> no, no one gets off scot-free. What about uh, skin, skin suits? Skin, do any? Uh, skin suits, yes. Yeah, skin, skin, skin suits and skin screens do affect things. And um, cover is no effect? Uh, cover is no effect this one, mate. Not through the crash. Bim Bam pumps his fist and says, yeah! Cat was like in too much shock from actually hitting something. That yeah, and Vogue, then get Vogue, away quite quickly enough. Vogue, hmm? actually roll me the eight d ten and divide by two, please. All right. Same with you, Doc. Actually, roll me the eight d ten and divide by two, please. That eight, one, two, yep, that's it. So Cat takes uh, without skin suits in, in being being affected. Uh, Cerise takes uh, 27, six, 26 points. Cat uh, takes 42 points. Uh, Voke takes 31 points. And uh, Doc takes 25 points. Skin suits will halve that, of course. And skin screens will halve that, of course, if necessary. Um, and I believe there's lots of ouchies. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, what's Cerise... Oh, that's right. What's, uh, what's um, Jazz and Bim Bam and Babu all doing? Well, well since this threat is neutralized for now, um, I'm going to not go over to the hover car and come back over here with these guys and see if the guy's alive um, who crashed. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead? Well, I'll examine him then. I'm mm -hmm. a biologist. Yes. Uh, he's a human. Um, average height, average weight, uh, no distinguishing, no major distinguishing features. 
Um, <laughs> These, this jet car and the hover car, are they common things among the worlds? I mean, are jet they copters, like, yeah. They are okay. Yep. So, hover so the fact it's they have unusual. These things yeah, it's somewhat unusual for them to be. Ar I mean, usually, the, usually the armed versions are only um, either military versions or, or you know, paramilitary police Lone Star versions. Um, well, I mean, the hover hard tank seemed like a big deal, so I didn't know if these other ones were too. Oh, the hover tank was a big deal. <laughs> so the hover, the hover tank was a, um, the hover tank was a uh, was an alien artifact as well. Um, these are um, these are the standard UPF type vehicles. Well, from what you've seen of them, anyway. Uh, what tattoos? These guys are doing no. Here? Do not appear to be any tattoos. Any? Uh, any? Is he carrying anything? ID or papers or ID cards uh, or anything? No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> he has a he has a wrist pistol. Interesting. Uh, and he has a he has a he had a laser pistol on his belt, and his waist. Uh, and dressed in just a general um, jumpsuit and boots, so uh, nothing distinguishing about any of it. Um, standard laser pistol, um, standard, yeah, um, pretty nondescript. I was hoping he'd be alive so we could interrogate him. They uh, carry poison. Got you, Jeff. Assuming they're Sathar agents like the other ones we encountered at the start, they will kill themselves. With cyanide capsules or whatever. No sign of that in this guy. This guy looks like he died from the injuries. Right, but if he had been alive. Oh well, that's one fast way to get rid of him. <laughs> um, I believe people need some first aid. The baboon's going to run towards that. Looks like a doorway at 11. And basically try to achieve a cover spot there where the arrow ends. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Uh, Jazz is doing something similar, he's already said. Who's the closest to the dock? That's who's going to get treatment first. The dock's the closest to the dock. After the dock. Uh, that would be Cat and Cerise and Var. They're all, you're all in the group. Okay, well then we go to triage. Right now, Cat looks more injured than Cerise. Yeah, I oh. just need first aid. Thank you. Okay, next roll is for Cerise. Okay. That's Cat and Cerise back up 10 points back. I wish I had had dinner before I started. <laughs> Why are you hungry? I am hungry. Wow. Now for the dock. Now for the dock. Hold on, just hold on for five minutes, Ben. It's fine, I'm only whining. I'll live. And Doc gets 10 points back. And Vokes any other person who needs healing, I believe. And ten points for Voke. You there, Voke? Uh he's with me actually. Okay. Okay, BioCord updated. Excellent, thank you very much. How are you going with that supply? We've used 21. Wow, it's dropping. Let me know when you get back to your desk, Revoke, please. I am showing Babu still has 20 biocord in his med kit he carries. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow that up. Cerise <laughs> wants to secure the hover car. 
All right, hang on a sec. So you're still you you're still mainly still 150 metres short of where that of that uh, yeah that was apart from those who have moved forward. Where's my oh for, go away? Here it is. What you doing, Vogue? What you doing, Dan? Oh, r help me uh, disable the hover car. Yeah, that's cool. But what's wh what's actually Ryan doing? For oh, real? Oh, he was he was getting a snack. Ah, oh, important things in life. For a six, for a seventeen year old, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let me know when he's back at his desk, will you, please? Okay. Uh, he should be there any moment. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, glorious yeah, snack yeah. is yogurt with M and M's mixed. Vanilla oh, yogurt. Terrible. Yes. Uh, Kat, do you need more? Do you need more healing? You're being asked. Uh, well, I can't have first aid, but a minor surgery would get me back 11 points, back to 60. It might be worth it. Um, it's kind it's of on the border. We could get away with not. But. It's two bio court and an anesthetic if you do. Your call. Uh, let's ignore it for now. Um, let's ignore it for now. Okay. Okay, yeah. we'll take a look right. at uh, Max. Oh uh, well, Max. Max was n wasn't nearby, so Max is still sleeping peacefully under a tree. Some. Some a couple hundred meters back. Yeah, good thing we didn't wake yeah. him, huh? <laughs> oh dear me. Um, listen, I explain. I explain fully why in a moment. But that actually is a good place to leave it for this week. Ryan, would you be so kind as to play those those um, ending credits? And I'll see everybody in four weeks' time. For those who are tuning in, um, hang around, everybody. I'll talk to you afterwards. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.